Alright, welcome back. This is Kotal uh, for another stream. We've got another um, public match this Thursday. I did a long one on Tuesday. Um, thankfully, I was able to catch up on work, so I'll be able to do at least, uh, I'm hoping at least an hour. We'll see. Um, but we've got a, that's not what you guys care about. What you guys care about is we got another event with the 400 player server. The test server is still up, so uh, this is a pry house, but I'm coming into it pretty late. Um, so I'll hold off on doing the uh, officer introduction, kind of just take a look at the action. Right now, let's see here, we've got a taken losses, taken losses. Yeah, this map is almost done here, so that's alright, we can watch the end of it here. Alright boys, get ready to move out, we're going to be moving out here shortly. Ah, uh, good Mr. Viceroy in there. How about B, let's go! Alright boys, let's move up. We're going to aim at that flag, come on. Pull me up right here, right here, right here. Aim at the flag, aim at the flag. Take aim at that flag, take aim. Ready! Alright! So you guys know the reason I do the uh, the flag thing um, before people shoot. I know it doesn't look very cinematic, but that way I'm blind as a bat, so it helps me count how many guys are getting killed. <laughs> so I kind of see how effective the, uh, the shots are. Steady! Oh! Whoa. I well that was a deep right kill. Of New York a. Uh, although you know they got it right in front of the cannon way. though, so it, I don't I don't know if I would blame the Artie the guy for that one. Hold the position. Break your reload. Hold the position. That last area was not clear. Now what I I would say, ladies and gentlemen, but according to my. Uh, my Steam chart, uh, my audience is 99.2% um, male and 0.8% other. So, uh, maybe I won't just say gentlemen, but that is my current audience for these channels. So, about face! Go, go, go! Hello, gentlemen. Rolling your grade. Let's see, it looks like they're trying to pull back. Both are now at breaking. Let's do a quick zoom out here on the field. Um, I, I I never would. I never would. That's why I, I knew you were that 0.8% that put other. Fine capture, lads. That's how we do it. Here's a pair of fire. Hey there, little boy. How's that company going? Uh, well, you came to the wrong place then, unfortunately, Mr. Hood. Um, but, you know, we are all Tongzer. We are all comrades in the uh, glorious revolution. And as we know in Chinese and Mandarin, uh, he, she, it is all Ta. Spelled there, it's different characters, but we are all the same. And speaking of that, looks like we've got a fight here on the wall. Up and over. Uh, let's see. The Union looks like they're really pressing on this one unit here. And the rest of the CSA is kind of staying back. Um, I'm doing oh wow, they've got two cannons in the road. I do like this move here by the CSA Artie. Um, canister in the road, I, I will never say no to that. Looks like Cornwallis is trying to get him oriented left, but there's not too much over here. Although, let's see, it looks like now we might have some. They keep saying charge. Okay, this. Whoa, looks like there was a raid out here by a Union regiment here led by Senor Daz. I didn't see it. Um, but maybe that's what was slowing down the CSA a little bit. Oh, no. Oh, I've, I've, I've ruined my career. <laughs> I give out free education. Oh, shall I pay my bills? No. Damn it. Damn you, K. 
capitalism. The cause of and solution to all of life's problems. Get on the road, gentlemen. Get on the road, gentlemen. Cole Wallace is putting them in the road. Um, although I'd be worried about this, although it looks like there's not too many guys actually over here right now, so maybe that is the right call. Uh, so the, you do have a rotation by this unit here. It looks like uh, Trusty is in there with them, with Senior Daz leading. They've gotten a yeah, good angle low, boys, here on this right. element out here There's a lot of on the road. And in here. fact, you can see they've already been pushed back. Here. They've been intruded oh, down pretty right. damn fast. Without a flag to sustain them um, and actively putting troops in, it is very hard now to maintain the line. But as you can see how close this unit is now to breaking, I believe this map will end here soon and then I'll be able to call an actual Holy shit! Direct! Jesus Christ! South Southwest! Come on, infantry, This should be the end here. Down the road, boys. Everyone, let's go! Everyone, everyone, move away! Are we charging? Are we charging? Move up the road! Fire off! Move up the road and fire off! Road and fire on the 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 which I don't think was for tactics. I think was just for fun, because uh, I think they knew it was out. Um, but yeah, normally I would say this is no good. But I think they might just be like, okay, new round. Um, not a bad idea to you know try a charge, but maybe they were trying to get the CSA down to last stand. Maybe that was Senor Daz's idea. He got him closer, but not quite close enough. There we go. Hey, Caddy, what's going on, brother? Uh, it's not too full right now, uh, the server. It's, well, you know, I say that. It was 366 when I joined, like, five minutes ago. Now it's 390, so um, who the hell knows. But I hope you get in, Caddy. Uh, your internet treating you all right on now? I know you said you were having some issues with the internet um, connecting with the 400. Oh, glad it's been playable at least. Yeah, I didn't use I didn't see the full casualties on this map, so unfortunately I won't be able to use this data, but we'll see uh, on the next one. Proportionally though, it's it's still about what I would think. Oh god, 246 on skirmishing, that is. Oh, I'm so tempted to go back into the damn debate, but I'm, I'm going to try very hard not to. But, uh, well, it's not really part of that debate. It's kind of a separate thing. Um, right now in the game, consistently, and I would say it's within the standard bell curve, you're going to see battles between... Yeah, Caddy, it's kind of crazy. When I say skirmishing, I mean skir skirmishing casualties. So you know you get uh, charges, so it'll happen, but not at that not, not at that rate. Um, but as far as your percentage of tickets, you know when you calculate it out, you will lose between on a public match on average for both sides between twenty and thirty five percent on in line. The rest will be well, the rest of your ticket drain will come from skirmishing and out of line, and that will be anywhere between sixty. Five and eighty percent. So when you think about that, when you're thinking about where do casualties come from, where does a you know ticket drain come from? It it still comes from even after these updates, from what I've seen, and 
when I say what I've seen, when I've calculated, when I do the numbers, it is still the same as it always was. It is still skirmishing and out of line drives ticket drain. So now we got a Westwood, which will be interesting to see because there's only uh, All right. Right. Um, two, you know, there's the normal two units for the, uh, no, no, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. Oh, we got Trusty Jam and did I see another one? I did not. Let's do the officer's orders. Let's win this All right, yeah, let's take a look at the team. So we've got the Reverend, who I saw, he was pretty good. Then we got Cornwallis leading. Right, Trusty's in there. We've got Jackson leading the CSA. Uh, Ollie, Ollie. I'm sorry, the Union. Here. I'm in here. I'm watching you, Ollie. Steady boys. Right hey, for order. We've got Arthur Sam. Oh, oh, hey, Kotel. Kotel is hey, how's it going, guys? <laughs> I'm watching you. I'm judging you from above. Subscribe to Kotel. Get your bayonets on, boys. See, then we got Senior Daz. We got Viceroy. And then, yep, there's Ollie. Right. Along with Mr. Caddy uh, with the play uh, and Benjamin oh, Byron Davis. I don't know him. Uh, Server so actually went pretty down in population. Oh, Hopefully, oh, it'll go back up here pretty soon. People might not like this particular map. I'm not a huge fan of it, to be honest with you. Um, I so I I've chosen as my um, avatar a monkey with a camera. Because I have no idea how any computer things work. <laughs> Some of these other guys might be able to answer that question. I hope. Um, of whether or not this can handle this game. I am the definition of, and I'm not even a boomer, I'm a late millennial. I, I have no idea how computers work. <laughs> I am lucky I've turned it on. Um, but if one of you other guys in the chat can help out at Sewell and let them know if they think uh, 1240, 12400F would be able to handle this game on 400. All right, but zooming out, so far, the s well, we'll see how they go. They're still kind of getting formed up here. Looks like the Union is split off into two distinct elements, one going to the uh, their left and one going to their right. The CSA is a bit, well, they're untangling right now, so it's a little bit hard to see. So I'll let them get a little bit untangled. At least half the force, maybe three-quarters of it, are going to their right, and one uh, is kind of hanging out here in the center. Let's uh, swing in and see if we can catch some of this action in the woods. Oh, the ball's gonna hit. Come the on, ball's gonna hit. Get it! 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 So as far as this positioning goes... Come the dogs I I actually... Um, I th Let's see here. It's not really great. You don't have too many great options. Um, there's a couple things you could look at doing. One thing I like that they're doing is that uh, Viceroy's got them on the bottom. Oh, they're charging. Interesting. Let me watch this charge and we'll get into that conversation. And they, Union, has decided to fall back from the CSA. He's on the defense. I, I am a little confused by that call. Now, if it's just this element, yes, but I think they had enough combat power to at least get into a decent fight. Um, but we'll see. So far, no real engagements on this right side. I'll keep an eye on it. But uh, the CSA is pressing forward. Now, I agree with Viceroy here. I think it's, you know, the Union's all spread out, and you want to do an attack now, go for it. Let's see if Cornwallis can hold. I don't think he can. I think the uh, Union got a little bit too spread out on the side here. And that has enabled the CSA to hit them pretty hard pretty early. And more importantly, do this. Knock down the flags. Knocking down the flags now are much more important than it used to be. And the CSA has launched a very successful initial attack here. 
All right, let's see on this side. It looks like the rest of the union's now moving forward here. I had to close that coach house stream, so and I And my boy, Mr. Ali. Jesus. I'm judging you, Ali. I'm watching you from above. Yeah, all, all of the seventh is gone. If I disconnect with the flag, you can, uh, you'll have to pick it up. I should drop these. So an interesting change that has happened is the uh, changes to the VoIP. So it used to be, I used to get on my guys about, um, you know, whispering in the uh, woods. I used to be like, why are you doing that? It is the same volume that for you as it is for anybody else that's within range. You are literally doing nothing. But now with the new distance um, mechanic where you get more muffled the further away you go, I do think it actually is more of a uh, valid thing now. So Charge. I do like that change, and I will have to stop <laughs> yelling at people. Charge. Charge. Okay, no. okay. So the Union is charging, but I don't think they have a good handle on where the enemy is. And they have alerted the enemy, and Arthur Salem is now in a great position to get the Union in a kill box. See, they kind of didn't charge directly into them. And more than that, the CSA is all together in a great conglomerate, and they are able to really mass on this Union team. That was only really one element that went in. Here's Ollie. He is now coming in, but he's been delayed. And so now he's going in, but he's by himself. Identify your targets, boys. Identify your targets. Straight in with the steel. Hey, good morning, you. Brother, you're getting stabbed to death. They're doing okay in this charge here. We'll see if the rest of the CSA reacts to it, actually. What are you doing? Uh, what are you doing? Don't to the roof. Get your into them. Pick up that flag. They need to communicate with these elements over here for reinforcement. Who is this? You ready to move out? You ready to move out? It is Viceroy and Benjamin Davis. Um, they could easily wipe out this Union unit, but they have not communicated in time. That has allowed the rest of the Union to get some more reinforcements in. And starting to get some advantage. And you can see how much of a problem it is for the CSA on tickets. Even with this, they're actually behind the Union, even though I think they've been playing so far pretty well. And now if CSA loses their flags, it's that same problem. It's going to be very hard for them to stand up to this Union element once they get their flags back. Fancy Michigan, we're with you. We're with you here. What's up, y'all? Rally on the hill, guys. Rally on the hill. Michigan A. Rally on the hill, boys. All right, so the Union's not out of it yet. We will zoom out here just a little bit. We'll see where the next attack comes from. Now the Union's all massed together, and you see all those dropped CSA flags. This is now a major problem for the CSA. They had an opportunity to wipe out uh, Ali, but he, he would prove a little bit too much of a problem, and they, uh, they let him get into him. By the way, for those that might just be coming in and wandered into the stream, this game is called War of Rights. Um, it is a U.S. Civil War first-person shooter. Um, Based on team play, as you can see, uh, all these guys in here are individual players. And right now, there's a 400 size server, although we're a little bit below that pop right now. We're only at 335. Uh, right now, the game is available on Steam. Um, unfortunately, the, um, the sale uh, just ended uh, this morning for the uh, spring sale, uh, but currently the price is 30 US dollars. So. Uh, still not too bad if you want to if you see this game and you want to pick it up. Or you can always wish list it and let it go back on sale. It was at 50 percent, so it was only 15 bucks um, during the sale, which is quite good in my opinion for the uh, value you get out of this game. Wow, they let Mr. Uh, Mr. Clinton. Oh, I was gonna say they let Clinton get away, but don't they got him. So now I would say the biggest problem for the Union is they're not really... Well, I, I suppose what they might be thinking is they might be capping the flags, which is not a bad idea. Um, but the problem is you're letting the clock go down and you're not actually further treating the uh, CSA. So if I was the CSA right now, I would yeah, just so stand boys. back. I would not go forward like this. I, I, um, I don't think we're going to... This might not be a good idea to engage the Union at this point. They're all reloading. They're all reloading. 
Yeah, there we go. Now we're sneaking up on the mix. Pick, pick up the flag, brother. Pick up the flag. Pull him back. Go now the idea of picking flag. up the flags, pulling them back. What do I think the retention rate is going to be? Um. Reload. We'll see. Um. I don't think very high, to be honest with you. I hope it is. Um, Gentlemen, do not crouch. Stay standing. Yeah, they're all if right you there. They're sharing that flag. I want you to shoot in the directions of the fallen flag. I mean, part of the problem is it. So here's my theory for why I think it's a bit of a problem. Um, public servers are great. Um, the pet server is not really modded very well, or at all. Um, so you tend to see more, we'll say, toxic behavior than you would see in a normal pub event that is managed by the public players. Um, you know, there's some of that, but it's 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 much less so on this. So they are, I think, unfortunately, likely to get a more negative. Experience or the likelihood of a negative experience is up than it would shit. normally be. Boys and going for the, other flag. the novelty of the 400 server the is nice, uh, but I am worried that uh, it won't sustain itself. That's that's my initial that thought. Now it may become. You can see right now. So Cornwallis has opted for a charge against this line. We'll see how well it goes. Yeah, stuff like that would turn me off as a player. To be honest with you, if I'm a new player, I hear people being stupid. I mean, some people like that, but you know. So it looks like about a mutual wipe, which in the case, case of the uh, Union is kind of fine. Um, you know, you're still killing. So I, I would say that actually worked out fine. And the nice thing is they still have their flag. That means they're going to get their men back very quickly here. Remember, that's every five seconds you see a man pop up. So let's just, you know, it's kind of boring, but let's just watch how quickly these guys are. If they just could do long distance shooting, we're really not missing much. So. Hold on, wait, wait, guys, wait. Group up, group up. Man, break him in as we done did him. Go back to the waist, boys. On me. Now we go, now we go. Good job. See how fast these guys are coming back in and how quickly they're getting their combat power back. Now that makes total sense to me. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of surprised the CSA is being this far forward and this aggressive. I think in this case the flags might be giving them a uh, a uh, wrong idea about maintaining contact this long in steady lines. So keep in mind, again, with the morale system, the CSA has less tickets than the Union does. So if you trade one for one as a defender, you are losing. You just are. You have to do better than the other team. You have to create imbalances where you have success. So at the beginning of the game, we saw them create some imbalances. They're doing a photo shoot behind this guy. Ah, uh, yeah, I, I've heard that as well. Um, I, I believe my math says otherwise. So let's discuss some reasons why that might be. So why we bring up this subject? All right, why we got some individual shooting going on right now? So you can see here's the problem set. Let's let's consider this like I would any kind of military problem. What is my problem set? I am the defender. I'm holding this ground here. I am the attacker. I am holding this ground here, in these static lines. If I am the defender, and if I am just trading shot for shot, and it's equal, I'm losing. You know, as you can see on the morale state right now. There hasn't, you know, there were some charges, but right now the morale state stays steady. It goes down at the same rate. The union's going to win, and in fact, it won't go down the same rate if the two are attacking at the same level, because again, CSA has less tickets. So, what is my option? I could try to shoot it out, but all else being equal, we're going to shoot each other at the same rate. So, right now, both teams are in static lines shooting at each other. And I'll get down here while we're talking about it so you guys have some fun stuff to watch. 
I, I'm aware, I'm aware. Thank you, thank you. And a bit of fire, gentlemen. I was watching Cornwallis earlier, so why don't we give somebody else a little bit of... Oh, he's one of our picks. I've known Ollie for years. Yeah, I see their flag. West, southwest. So what are your options now? I can continue shooting, but that doesn't get me where I need to go. Now, what is the problem? The problem is the respawns. The problem is this flag here. I can try to shoot the flag, um, but let's zoom out for a second. We'll watch for a minute, and I will leave this here. Keep hitting T and keep hitting this. So I'll see if a flag goes down. Let's see in one minute with both teams shooting at each other. How often a flag goes down here? So we're at 29:10. We'll be quiet for a little bit, but you know, it's a, uh, you know, it's a, uh, we're, we're gonna make this into like a bluey game, you know, like a, like a kid's. <laughs> no flag has gone down yet. Oh, there's one. We got one. We got a winner. All right, that's a minute. I saw one flag go down in that whole minute. So is it effective, or is it something you count on to knock down the other team's flag to get an advantage? I don't think it is. I would still try to do it, get an edge wherever you can, but it is not going to be what we would call decisive. It's not going to change the outcome. And as you can see, they have now lost enough combat power that they've got to fall back. I don't think they should be engaging that far forward to begin with. Now the Union has a great advantage yeah, here to push forward. Fire will, gentlemen. Fire will. That's a goddamn So what do you do? Well, there's a couple things you could do. One, uh, if you're trying to get an imbalance, you concentrate your fire all in a single place. That requires a lot of concentration and a lot of coordination. Another thing you do is you charge out. If you could charge out and knock out a flag, as we saw earlier, you have made that unit unable to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with you. But you have to be able to charge with enough combat power to overcome the volley that will come in to meet you. So you have to put in a lot of combat power to do it. Hence, you are more likely to charge as a mass. So the games will become, for the most part, not for the most part, I should say, but the games will likely become... This is an interesting line of guys out of line here that's actually holding up this entire Union force. Look at this. <laughs> oh, Lord. Just charge him out for some good tickets. Um, I just toot my horn every once in a while. Is there anything else I need to do? Do I think there were more options or less now as a team? As a team. That's an interesting question. As a team, I think individual units have less options. I, I am very confident in making that st that assertion that individual units have less ability to independently and out on their own. And again, look at what we have now. And there's nothing wrong with this. Not saying that there's anything wrong with people playing this way, but let's see how the battlefield has adapted. We've got two lines here with a bunch of Rambos in between here firing at distance from each other. And I believe at some point we will see a mass charge to try to dislodge him. Is this the only way you can play this game now? I, I don't think so, but I think it is the easiest and the most effective. The amount of coordination and requirement to play like that is far less than and has a uh, much higher chance of succeeding than other options you might otherwise pursue. So, for example, you could, in theory, if we want to think about it right now, you've got three men in line. Maybe I send, who is this right out here? Kind of a reserve. I say Colonel Red on a flanking mission. 
around here to try to get some shots into the side of this line over here and drag off this line here. That is still a valid option. It you, still can be done. But can that line knock out this line? No. Can this line knock out that line if they engage it at distance? No. So all you do all you're gonna do is not really have a decisive engagement. You need to apply more than just what you got. You have to create imbalances. And those are much harder now. Because units are more likely to, to I wouldn't say bunch up, but this is bunched up. And you know, you can see this is pretty bunched up here too. Because you have more security. So if I do charge out, because that's gonna be the, you know, preferred method, you're gonna face an even bigger line here. Now, I think things no, like bounding, walls, you know, fire yeah. and advancing, that for your help. Um, may be the order of the day. And I am still of the opinion that um, selecting targets, concentrating fire on targets, and proper use of cover and terrain can still create imbalances. But it is much harder now than it used to be. Oh, yeah, I see. Hey, listen up. Gentlemen, I see that battle flag waving. You see that shit right down Now, units can be and will be wiped, but they'll be wiped in mass charges. Not always. There's, in, there's, there's times where they might not be. But let's stick with, Al, with uh, Senor Daz here for a minute. He's got one flag with him, and he is moving forward to engage. So let's see how he does. If he's going for a charge or if he's just going for an engagement. It's not very sneaky. You boys make noise. What's up, faggots? Let's go right this moment now. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Now they've got several units over here that they punched in on, and he has fallen back. See that little raid, I think, was actually a pretty effective maneuver. All right, Will. See them as they run away. Hear those tyrants! It's a goddamn turkey shoot, I tell you what, boy. Back here, boy. I killed him. I killed him. Arthur Salem, you killed him. Killed him, man. They can't touch me for it. I shot him dead. I saw it. So, at, you saw that volley from this unit over here, completely ineffective. I didn't see anybody go down at all. Who is this over here? Don't tell me it was Ollie. Don't be Ollie. She's not capping. Okay, it wasn't Ollie, thank God. Yeah, guys. You do not want to cap early. That will give them more points. Don't capture early. You want to capture once they're at breaking. Hold here, gentlemen. Hold your position. Hold here. My connection's not doing it. Do it, damn boys. Left and right around. Let's go. Press forward. Forward. Take aim. South, southwest, gentlemen. That was a good one. Load standing. So break loads. Fall back. Break your loads. Fall back. I hate to disagree with Colonel Red, but. That volley was generally ineffective. It sounded good. It might have looked nice, but it might have killed one or two of the way. I'm even doubtful of that, and they're right back in. And what you're doing now is wasting time, which benefits the CSA. Let's see if we can check out another angle out here. That's good for you. It's gonna be he, got, he got shot. Yeah, and we're gonna be like, we're gonna be like oh, 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 space. The rear rank should space so your head is between in, two people. Right, right. Right. Front rank only, aiming. Front, front, front rank only. First rank, fire, 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 fire. First rank, nailed. By the way, uh, everybody uh, congratulate Mr. Bradley. He has succeeded passing his prelims. And he is now all but okay, dissertation okay, status. Yes. Yeah, we can yeah, do Which is a big accomplishment, yeah. and it is a pain in the ass to do. If you're, if you're in the rear rank, rank, guys, space so that you're looking between the, the two people in front of you. Don't aim through his head. Hold your fire. Hold your fire. There's trees in my way, Ali. I can't watch west. it as well. At the fence. West at the fence. Eat those casualties, boys. Hold your fire. Do you think we're shooting at them? Let's try again. Reform double rank. But we fucking push up. First rank. It's out of bounds. West. Take First aim, rank, not the second. First rank. First rank, fire. So that volley First seemed generally fired. ineffective against Ali. Second Ollie. rank, prepare. Second rank, take aim. Let's see second if I see, let's see how many go down that we see. Let's see if we can count the flags. Second rank, fire. That's more like it, boys. That's more like it. It seemed like very little. Prisoners of war, and we will treat them with respect. Okay. All right, I'll fight for you. 
No, why are you Fire stabbing me? Why hey. did he do hey. that? Why did he hey. kill him? He's my hey. friend. I'll keep an eye Guys, on. listen. You, you said don't oh, shoot him. Let's watch from this angle and see if we can get a better idea of how many the CSA. So right now, this is actually beneficial to the CSA, but um, again, this is basically out of bounds for the Union. I... Check, my good sir. What? When we look at, again... Hey, it's Ollie, man. It's Ollie, man. He's my boy. Ollie, my boy. What now, sir? I've known Ali since you said, uh, first New York days, but anyway, um... That got a couple flags down, but I, I would say not too many. Again, let's see about these return volleys. How many do you see going down right now? They're in a decent covered position. Now, again, this works great for the CSA. But, um, you're not seeing... A very significant morale drain, as you guys can see. Now, let's see. Do we have a flank attack developing over here? You've got to get your posterior in one of these big ass planes. Take him! Left side. There's a whole unit left side. Good job, boys. Good job. I love to see it. Keep up the fire. Let's zoom out a little bit. So we see that the Union is kind of split into uh, pretty much four even formations, while the CSA is concentrated into two blocks here. In this case, I would say if the Union can get different firing angles, that can be effective. For example, I would, under, these new, under this new setting here, I would have this unit right here, and this unit have a base of fire, have that unit come up and try to flank as best they can. Hey, what's going on, Velkeen? To see MWB in the house and put some fire down on this unit and have this unit over here as a fixing force against these two. That way, you know, if they can keep these two this these two units distracted, you'll have three on two here, and you will be able to get a advantage in the fire. Eat this! Oh. So he had those initial charges, but since then it has been a very static fight. Oh, the CSA pushed pretty far back. Um, would I now cap, if I was to ask myself that question? Um, the answer is yes, I would cap at this point. Uh, but I would keep most of the units forward. I would just send maybe this side unit here to cap and try to force them out into the open and get you know mass casualties and get them down, back down to uh, as far down as I could get them. Um, yeah, yeah, that was, uh, <laughs> you know, the, 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 ooh, good. now that was actually some good fire here by the Union on the spread out CSA force here. Who was this? This was by right, Senor Daz. I don't know, forever, how fucking long it takes for us to get them to break and you will resume independent fire, gentlemen. And you can see that actually that has started to do some damage now. That kind of maneuver. Oh, guys, going you got, well, you Mr. Bell King. Follow me. Sir, you got follow me. Even though they were out of line for a second, they were still able to get some great kills into What's some guys that were skirmishing and really hurt them. And uh, were able to knock them down pretty well, so. A good awareness there by Senor Daz. You can see the flag out there. Fire, Will! But who's Will? I don't I can't There's see like their name tags. The Union Liner, like, right over there. Right? Fire will! Fire right at the Union line! Yeah, to the east, directly east. east. Like yeah, yeah, they're like right. We're getting fucked they're up. Look at this. We gotta move, fire sir! East we gotta move, east sir! East we gotta east move. <laughs> oh, yeah, Star Wars music won't get me, uh... That won't get me, uh... Copyrighted at all. So I actually like these raids by Senor Daz. I think if he keeps this up, he might actually get him down to breaking before the time goes. You see how spread out the CSA forces are here. Um, so I am going to correct myself and say that if he can keep up this tactic, then you don't need to cap early. 
But again, this element out here, I, I don't see really having very effective fire. Let's see if I can see a shot from I them. got him. I we'll died, but anything, I got him. Uh, coming out of them. Fucking Joe. Hotel Trivago. Exactly. Yeah, no one should be aiming. Check. We have pumpkin. Check. Mine's Check. ready. My boy, Caddy. What, Caddy? Leading NCO at the game. South Southwest, boys. So south Southwest. What is South Southwest? Great cat real fire, boys. Oh. I don't think they're gonna live much longer. They are a captain their spawn. Oh, but they gave the ground, as you saw, they gave the ground on it. Um Oh, there's a flag down. Get that flag up, gentlemen, get that flag point. All right, boys, up. get ready. We're going to be moving the points. We're going to go for the early cap. Yeah, there's a whole line. There's a whole line. I, I don't know if I would call it early cap at this point. You're almost on breaking. Well, they had to, didn't they? Um. Well, I would say it's a consequence of being so aggressive early out. You know, you had some nice charges, but then you got all strung out and you got wiped. And then you lost your flags, so. You reclaimed your flags, but you cost so much doing it. Charge them out, man. So, I mean, I guess, I guess, did they at some point, yes. Ah, uh, with the new smurfs, you see the trade up front, it gets whittled down slowly before they even charge, or you fall back. That seems to be the case. Um, I'm trying to find new ways to do some tactics in here, and there we go, it's over. CSA just kind of stomped on this one, unfortunately. Um, it's hard for me to counter that. I'm trying to think of a counter argument. I mean, that was such a quick match that I'll definitely be able to watch a second one, so that's positive. <laughs> Ah. See, that initial wipe by the uh, CSA I thought was good, but then they decided to hang out and try to trade blows, blow for blow. I think if they tried to be more mobile, maybe they could have done something more. But once they got into a static fighting position, it was over. Yeah, yeah, That's. I don't think the 20% was significant enough. Maybe they'll have to up it to 40%. Um... And look at these numbers just on the top of my head. They're going to fit within the 20, 30 to 35%. Um, just looking them off the top of my head. So there's no change in that. I'll, I'll add them up later um, just to make sure. But just eyeballing it, it's, it's still going to be within that. Uh, not a full server. Uh, right now we're about 350. So we'll see what we got next. I don't particularly like woods because it's hard for me to see them. So, it, you know, did my best, but. Now, I will say I did watch a corn, uh, Miller's Cornfield match um, on HRE on Sunday, and it was actually um, pretty dynamic. I, I, you know, the, the problem with it is, well, Dunkers is one of my favorite maps, too, so this will be fun to watch. Um, I wonder how this is going to affect Dunkers. I imagine, I imagine the same way, but, um, like, for example, it, it's going to be very hard to allow the unit to set up, you know, in any of these forward positions for long, like right here or, you know, down here or over here. Like, I would be very cautious to let the Union get those positions. But the problem is now the CSA, how much combat power and how many casualties do you have to take to dislodge them? You know, what other choice do you have? You need to bring either charging or you need to create a imbalance of forces. I would say, you know, the old the old adage is, you know, you need three to one for the attacker. You know, and it, it, that's, you know, it's an adage. It's not a, it's, you know, it's meant to, you know, be a guide. But, um... I think it might apply here fairly accurately. 
I think you would need three companies to wipe out one. We'll see if that's accurate. All right, press T, guys, 70 seconds. All right, game highlights. What's up, brother? All right, let's look at the leaders real quick. So we got C. Bell. I don't know him. Cornwallis leading. We've got Salem in again. We've got Reverend in again. We've got Colonel Wright in again. And we got Miss Berry from the 8th Ohio and Stonewall Jackson. Then we got Major John Brown back in and then a 20 New York guy. Let's see here. And then we've got on the Artie and then on the Artie on this team, looks like we got Med Services. Nice. Good to see. How many people on the pub server right now? We got 352. I need about 350. It's so not quite full. Um, but, you know, still a little bit early, so, you know, hopefully some more people filter in. I mean, it's Dunkers. It's one of my favorite maps, so um, right now the CSA is pretty spread out in their defense. Um, the Union is going in, I would say, a little haphazard for my likes. You can see, you know, one unit hasn't moved out of spawn yet. One unit going to the right unsupported, one moving to the center, and another unit way out in front here. Equipment check, bayonets, it's Barry. reloads. Um, if he stays back here and is kind of yeah. just scouting, I think it's fine. But I'd be uh, cautious to go much further into it. What? I got yeah, some yeah, nice yeah, arty yeah. going go off like here. Yep. Yep. I am lagging right now. Uh, that would have been uh, devastating if the unit was up there. I'm just here to motivate y'all okay. because I know oh, you yeah, do as good as I believe in you. Come on, Rooster. I believe in you, Rooster. Come on, Rooster. I believe. Come on, Rooster. Fire it, fire it. Fire it, fire it. Will. Uh, sailed right over. So they're messing a little bit here in the center. Um, you've got one unit here on the far Union right, and they might be able to infiltrate. We'll see. Who is this over here? Got Jackson, but he's turning the other way, and it is Mr. Red here. Yeah, I'm grabbing the wood. I'm grabbing the fence. Now, something I do not like, I, I think, is a mistake, is lining up on this uh, this fence. It really doesn't give you much cover, and it really doesn't let you advance because you got to jump over this fence, and then you or go through this, you know, one single gap, and then go over the next fence to advance at all. So I'm not a huge fan of the positioning on this straight rail fence. Yeah, don't blow your load just yet, gentlemen. That's right, boys. Do not cop. But all right, then we've got the other. Now this position I like a little bit more here. Who is this? Independent. Independent. By John Brown. You heard him. Let him have it. This is so bad. Reform the line. Reform the Aim line. Aim low at the tree Make line. Make sure your information, guy. So Velkine, unless already taken. Independent fire, southwest. Southwest. Well, how much of a change will already be? Um. He got some nut sacks, boys, at the tree line. Just because he can't see them doesn't. I'm, I'm, I've always been the opinion that already is not an effective attrition element. Um. As a general rule, there are times it can be, but it generally it has not been. Uh, looks not too effective on that one. All right, see, now the Union has already pushed up to this strong position here. Now the CSA is going to have to decide what they want to do. Are they going to try to push him out or shoot him out? If they try to shoot him out, I think the Union has the advantage. And that's, a rev, that's a rev cannon, eh? It? it is. Yep. No, you're right, they did. Um, but as far as for the new update, I think already, I think like you said, it's going to be really about timing it with charges. So it's going to be, um, it's going to be very important, but it's going to be very tough. Trusty, I need you to shout if they start coming this way. Only in Danish, though. I'll, I'll you got shouted in Danish. Yeah. You can't shout it in English. All right, so we got a forward maneuver here. So now speaking of, ooh, it Georgia's in. Got a couple casualties. 
And you can see this element here is now engaging two elements here. here. I click, I click so this is actually a good north. thought experiment here. You've got a bound and equal number here, and then you've got the 8th Georgia over there. So you've got two lines of fire. Let's see if John Brown can maintain his position here with the rate of attrition. I'm going to cut this bullet. Red shirt. Red shirt. No! Although now my formula is going to get thrown off. He's got another maneuvering element over here. And with that, so we had about two elements engaging this one element. They were able to knock him out. Um, although they're about to get slammed by this right here. So not quite three to one, but close to it. Charge! 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 Break your reloads! Charge! Get that flag! Get that flag! So knocking out flags in a charge like this is hugely important. If you can separate a unit from its flag, it is very much in a lot of trouble. And John Brown has made the right decision, I think. He's going to try to cover his men as they retreat. Or not. Don't be a coward, John Brown. Live up to your name. I, I killed a friendly. I, I, I killed a friendly by accident. That's bad. Damn. Yeah. So they get that flag back. It that is a bad. good accomplishment, even though they lost. So you see here, the CSA was able to retake this position. I missed it because I was watching the other thing. Um, but as we see on the ticket counter, they're about a quarter behind the Union already, and we are at 37 minutes. So this is already a uh, a close battle here, and the CSA is just going to roll through this. Are you the assholes that were shooting up here? Fuck you. Yeah, it it was it, it, yeah. But but those. Yeah, I was trying to. I want to say it was at least half. Um. So here's another decent engagement over here. We might be able to do a bit of a E1. So we got a single element over here with the flag, and then we've got who is this over here? Another single element. Uh, but they are shifting another element to reinforce. I do like attacking through this angle. Uh, what I usually like to do as a Union, and this is how the Union came up, you know, in the actual battle, is coming up through this angle here. And if you can penetrate into here, you can really intercept those reinforcements coming in and sweep up behind the CSA in multiple angles and can really fuck with their lines and kind of get them all panicky. But, um, again, I would need... You might also just come into here and try to hold it and force them to charge you out like you did. We did pretty good just in the center there, holding it. I died a hero back there. Company B, Company B, call us slightly. Company B, press T, let's go. Keep on shooting A low, A low, A low. So right now we've got half the Union team here in this center and the other half over there. It was an already shot you saw. So yeah, Velkan, I... Back to your earlier question. Yeah, already is... I was always skeptical of Artie as far as um, how it can be used. I, I think a lot of people don't use it effectively, but um, yeah, this is just gonna be a massacre. Oh, I'm gonna kill some dirt. Charging into two lines here. Need a lot more combat power than this to charge in. Follow your star, star, boys. boys. Follow in fact, I'm amazed they haven't ordered the counter charge yet. Stay here, boys. Oh, there it is. Stay here and shoot them, boys. They got some reinforcements up, though, that I hadn't seen. How many so. rebels are left? Yeah, you're dead. But I would still yet charge this out. You do not want them to get flags up. Oh, you're dead. You got one flag on the ground you need to pick up. Stay here and shoot Get that flag up, gentlemen. Get that flag up. Now. Yep. Now. Yep. Get the flag up, gentlemen. Get it up. And shoot. Oh! Fucking Confederate officer right there. Those were some timely reinforcements. And the problem is for the CSA now. Oh, one in the dirt. Yankee. Two in the dirt. Oh, way down south in the land Union. Of traitors. One up. Southwest, southwest. Two up. Even though they could have won it. They, they were distracted. They didn't get their flags up. And now look, look at how many Union ha are left. 
and how quickly they re, re you know got back in here and the csa element here is just completely knocked back we'll see how this next element deals with it but um you're still moving sir you're still moving Again, we'll do the math. One flag versus two. Form a line to his left. Yeah, I would not have normally expected the Union to hold that element. Charge! Charge! Now, interestingly, I have no idea why they're charging. It. This is not... If they were in a firing line or a decent position, they should be able to, if not hold that, do a decent job of, of inflicting casualties on it. So I'm not quite sure why they ordered a retreat there. Um, they're going to lose all momentum, and now they're going to lose their flags. And they're going to be in that same shit position. Let's go. Fall back. Fall back. And again, you're going to let the CSA get these nice uh, trusty. Why are you going to get killed like that? You know better, trusty. This is your game. Get on the snake rail fence. You rolled the code. You know not the skirmish. No. By yourself? It's silly. Get on that straight rail, boys. Give him some hail. Oh, boys, sorry. I thought I heard snake rail. Sorry. Back to the fence. Back to the fence. Oh, other fence, boys. Other fence. All right. Let's see what else we got. Over there. Wreckers. So again, we've got the Union who's Those trenched in this position. We'll see if the CSA can Sending. knock Sending. him back here and see how much it takes to knock him back. Ooh! That was a friendly fire shot. That was indeed a friendly fire shot. Oh, Barry. Get out, get out of here, get out of here, let's go. So the, uh... So the Union has been driven off of this very secure position because of that one cannon shot from Friendly. To the northwest west. They got a mass even more men over here. Let's see if they can hold this charge by the CSA. They should be able to. Oh, they look cool. I, I, I will say they are very cinematic. Johnny, they, they are very cinematic. Um, not to, uh, you know. Second Company B, you are in the wrong place. I, I really, I, I hope, I know we won't get it in time, but I'm looking forward to the day when we can do our reenactments with 400 man servers. What's up, Red Shirt? How you doing? Hey, my man. Spread, 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 spread. Who's coming up here? John Brown, I don't think I agree with this. You're kind of ending up, unless he's trying to get his flag back or something. I mean, I guess if you poke a little bit, it's fine, but I'd be very nervous about getting caught out here. Belkan, you are right. You know, Artie can make a difference on friendly fire. This is true. And I am an expert on that. Back when I was in the 83rd, I, I, I was told I could no longer be on a cannon space, so I kept blowing up my friendly line. I don't, you know, we need leadership. All the lines, in, the I thought they just needed to get good. You know. Oh, great, man. Good to hear it. Oh, it's, if you've been gone a couple of years, yeah, this must be uh, a very different. It's all a CEO with his binos out. Shoot west, guys. Focus west. Focus west. So now we've got a s attempted flank here by the Union. Um, this is interesting. This is an interesting choice. You have created the kill box for this element out here. Oh, here's, here's my boy Knight. Right side, right side, right side, right side. But this is always the problem, is if you get caught out like this, uh, you get wiped. So I, I actually do like how the, uh, you saw what the Union did there. They had a base of fire over here, and then they attacked through with the flank here. And were able to wipe out, um... yeah, I mean, if you dodge, you know, you dodge, you know, dip and dive and, and, and duck. All right, so now we've got an attempted charge here. Let's see if the unit can hold it. Yeah. 
Now, the problem, I think, for the Union was, why are they retreating? Maybe send the flag back, but fight and die. Get the, get some casualties. All you're doing is give them your back. I, 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 don't, I don't agree with... I agree with getting the flag back, but at that point, hold that position and make them pay for it. Back to hill, back to hill, back to hill, guys. Go to hill, go to But yeah, the Union is now in a very good position, and I like who is this. Red, although this is a little bit too shallow, I would go in a little bit deeper. Uh, but he still might be able to pop off and get a nice, really good volley on these guys. Let's see if we can see how they do. Fire up the nipple, boys. Southeast. Light them up. Fire a little. Fire a little. Waste another, boys. So, on the new math here, keep in mind, you need to kill at least six every 30 seconds. And actually... Six plus zero 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 one. If you're just gonna shoot and try to attrit a unit, if you actually want to eliminate a unit. Now you don't have to do that by yourself. That could be other units helping you do that. But if you actually want to outbeat the, you know, outpace uh, the rate of respawn, you have to kill six a minute. Come on. Six a minute. Twelve a minute. Six every thirty seconds. Jesus. Stay, stay. Oh. No, I mean there's always a human factor, you know. Of, of, you know, they might not understand the changes, which I, I'm hoping that uh, this can help, you know, educate. You know, now when they say, "Oh, well, you haven't seen enough," okay, this we're gonna get. You know, this goes back to the college course you're not paying for right now, Mr. Mr. Hood. Klauswitz put out several reasons of when you can legitimately use historical examples. One of those uses is as an illustration to show that something is feasible or possible or to help explain a concept. Advance in the other direction, yes, Velky. Oh, God. But I, I, well, as far as the Union goes, I absolutely agree with uh, pressing the attack right now. That is 100% what here, you should boys. be doing. Kill them all. But so if you have an Hold example here, in history you can point to, or in this case, an episode of trying to explain a concept. Uh, CSA just charged the Artie? Um, they did. Um, they did. Which is fine. Um, but you're allowing the Union into this back line and getting a lot of kills. Let's go. Bears so, up there. Let's move. it's sad that the Union you know, got pushed off there already, but uh, you can see this great position the Union has now gotten itself into and how much of a threat this is now to the CSA line. The, the Artie guys will come back eventually. Get, get into the wedge again, guys. Get into the wedge and shoot them. Aim low, guys. Hey, away, see how away. the CSA reacts to this. Yeah, so if you were, you know, saying, you know, like, for example, um, when we were on the stream, we talked about, um, the coming, you know, the change coming, in coming, tactics coming, coming. and how, um, you know, we switched from bull run to maybe more positional type of warfare like the wilderness. That is not to say that all combat is now in the wilderness. You the volley, that is to say that as an illustration, that helps you understand the concept. And to show a possibility, all you have to do is show it once. So so if we make a statement, say, no one can ever shoot Artie again because it's completely ineffective. If I could show just one example of Artie being effective, even if it's shooting friendlies, um, I've now shown that that statement is false. It's not an absolute. Oh there may be circumstances where it may be. I think that red got TK by that tour. Hold these next loads, boys. We're going to charge them. You heard them, boys. Reload and hold. We're I absolutely agree with this idea to charge. As a CSA, I think they're a little bit too spread out right now, to be honest with you. I think they're in danger of getting wiped out in detail. Especially with another raid like this, I do not agree with that, taking combat away from these guys over here. 
And look, we already got a charge over here. But not all of the Union went in. Don't stop! But even with that, they are charging through. Can they push through all the way? They need to keep the momentum forward and knock out this flag here. And they are doing just that. Good job by this Union element. Those guys back there need to get in gear, though, to be honest with you. Tell me that's not Ollie. Don't be Ollie. Don't be Ollie. Don't be Ollie. Oh, it's Cornwallis! No, Cornwallis, charge! Get in there! See, this guy's getting in there. He knows the deal. Uh, if you charge, you finish him. You might have him on breaking. Wow, that unit's out chasing Artie. Oh. Yeah, you like that, fed boy? Fuck you. On the other side of the church. They're on the other side of the church. Yeah, take that. Now you got a flag up. You got plenty of time to get men back in. Stay in the woods. Get your loads. And now they're going to fall back. Yeah. Now let's check out this line here by mate, uh, Mr. Jackson. Yes, that already is still alive, by the way. The, uh, they, they, they gotta send their sights, uh, the other artillery. Uh, They're gonna shoot us again. We got Behind like us! Yeah, I mean, it's it's not easy to coordinate in pubs, I'll, I'll put it down to that. Um, no, they have another artillery further away. Yeah, we have people killing it right now. Now this is another good case study here. Push on me! Push on me! Melee! Melee! So they weren't able to shoot them out. They're about even, so now they charge in. To try to wipe the flag. But they've got a charge over open ground. Can this unit do it? Can this unit wipe out this CSA unit? We'll see. Now the key is once you have the advantage, you have to counterattack and wipe out their flag. That is the key. Ooh, another good arty shot. Might have just saved them, knocking them down. Actually, that might have just saved this flag here and allowed reinforcements to come in. But as you can see, that charge did fail. And now, because they weren't able to wipe out this flag, that is going to be the end of that. We'll see. Oh, here's another charge coming in here. I like how aggressive Colonel Red here from the 59th has been. I think that's exactly what you need to be in this kind of map. And now on breaking, he is going for points. You do have, I believe this is Cornwallis out here. Hey, the left. Let's, go. Let's follow him in. He might be in a good position to counterattack that unit. Um, and get some good uh, tickets, but we'll see. <laughs> Getting some decent shots in. And now we've got Miss Barry has come up here. Get into him. Get into him. And Arthur's saying I'm counterattacking. Good job by him. Trying to knock out that flag. No, no, no. We got people behind us. Yeah. You're all these guys fighting without picking up the flag. You're being very silly right now. Just an artillery friendly. Just an artillery friendly. I'm an artillery friendly. Uh, CSA is on. It's okay. They lost. But... Gun them down as they run. Gun them down. Hell yeah. Let's hold them as goddamn pants. Get that Um, well, you know, the mouse is now a public domain, so, you know, anybody could be the mouse now. As long as they don't talk, I don't think the, the, the voices uh, copyright has expired. <laughs> I think it's just the image of Steamboat Willie. Um, so now they, they are still in a stable position over here with one flag, and they aren't able to threaten pretty well. But I, would, I, I wouldn't mind staying back there right now until the next attack comes and try to figure out and coordinate when the next attack comes. And then once the CSA commits, 
they're defending it, just swing in behind and uh, wipe out their flags because they're going to most likely be right here like they're doing hey, going and, there, and using this as kind of a um, what we would call a uh, ISB, an interme intermediate staging base to uh, kind of rest and refit. Uh, for anybody that's deployed, think Kuwait. Amen, Father. Amen, brother. You hang out, you get some Nathans, you go to the gym. Go to sleep. Where's the heartless rebels again? Hold on, I'm full kids on this line. I'm pretty sure the right rebels have done to that church. Oh. He is correct yeah, guys, about that. that Mickey right Mouse there. is wise. Um, my scout In the way he's right there, southeast, okay? No, don't shoot him. Don't shoot. Don't shoot the battery. Hold on. Don't shoot the battery. Do not shoot. Shut the fire. Stop it. Fire. Well, the problem is now that with the, the, that fire, is they've given away their position. <laughs> and here comes. Who is this coming up here? And Cornwallis is charging out, which I think is the right decision. If you're spotted in an ambush, charge out of the ambush. Even if you lose, you will still take more of them with you than you otherwise would. So even though he's screwed here, he, he's completely surrounded, screw it. Take as many as you can with you. Now the flag should be out running the other way. So like right now, who is this? Oh, HO. No, when you, when you're ready, you ran the wrong way. Run, run that way. Here's a new volunteer. It's fine. But yes, flag, if you know they're in a dooms, run the hell away and find a friendly unit. Especially with these new rules here. Because now, you've got a Union flag down there. So they'll respawn all together at main, which is nice. But, without a flag, they can't really assist as much. And somebody over here needs to go grab that flag, too. I don't know why you guys aren't going to grab Who's this? Jesse Mitchell. Good man. Get on it, boys. Get, yeah, light him up, boys. Light him up. Light him up. Light him up. Light him up. Now I do like this flanking maneuver here. Who is this? This is a good position that Major Jackson has put himself in. I think he's Stonewall Jackson. You see how he's gotten himself now perpendicular to the Union line here. He's going to maximize his fire efficiency with this kind of angle attack. Well, I appreciate it. This has to happen. Yeah, motherfucker. Oh, like that motherfucker? Yeah. So, Come on. Come on, you gutless bastard. Come get us. These guys are not able to hold on. And the CSA has done a decent counterattack, but they are very close to last stand now. So uh, this match will end pretty soon. These, these have been quick matches. I mean, 16 minutes on Dunker being pushed to last stand is not, is not ideal for CSA at all. To the right, to the right, to the right. Oh! oh. Uh, I mean, there's been mistakes by both teams. There's been some good moves by both teams as well, though. I'm just a drunk. Uh, no! no! You're done. You killed my cousin at Bolt Rock. Uh, don't, don't load in the middle of a, uh, a charge. That is a bad idea. All right, so it is the end here. 15:30, just about. CSA hits the last stand. That is pretty quick. Now you got the Artie who's gonna pound them here out in this open position. They might as well just charge out and end it. Uh, get them down to breaking. They should be able to achieve it. Um, yeah, yeah, GG. It is a, it's GG time. It's a juicy already hit. Is that you, Mango? Is that you doing that already shot? Or was that your already shot right there? Was that your already shot? So that's actually a good note here from the people that are screaming it. If you're on last stand, formation no longer matters. You no longer, 
I mean, yeah, I'll, 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 I'll look at you funny on the overall stats, but from a gameplay perspective, there is no reason to be all clumped up in a, in a nice line to shoot at or to, uh, or to get killed by Artie. Spread the fuck out. Kneel. Hide. Use cover. You get one life left. That's it. Try to preserve it as best you can. Hey, Kensick. Yeah, that's what it is. It's, you know, not a not, not time. Yeah, I'll try to do one more. I'm going to try to do one full more. We'll see, we'll see what time it is. Like I said, I got to head on my work, so I could take the night off. But I still got to get up early tomorrow, so. Yep, like By the way, I gotta figure out the next subject for my, uh, if any of you guys have watched my, uh, Officer Basic course. Um, I don't know, what subject would you guys like me to tackle next? I've got a couple ideas, but I'll probably do a poll like I did last time. As we watch this Union attack go in. I do like this angle of attack. Because right here, you kind of just stick right up in here, and you've got... Defense isn't cover, but this down here is. Now, you don't have to really worry about cover anymore because, you know, it's, it's last stand, but just kind of as an awareness thing. Why are you running away? Just, just fight it out. What are you doing, you silly? Rebels always suck, bro. Get better officers. Rebels suck. Rebels suck. He doesn't like the rebel officers, it sounds like. I am home in heaven, dear ones. Oh, so happy, so bright. Uh, they did get up to break it. Never been like this ever before. Or never before. There's the best one that's ever, ever existed. It's always good to see a nice big charge, you know? It does look beautiful. What's the next map? What's the next map on the rotation? I always forget. Fucking idiots going to stupid language. Alright. An interesting dunkers. Like I said, I, I'm looking forward to this for our reenactment events. I will say that this will aid in our reenactment events immensely. <laughs> now, for the rest of the game, <laughs> we will see. But Andrew Walsh, our script writer, is, is ecstatic about this. Um, yeah, and if you ever want, you can check out... Uh, I've got another play... play List. Playlist, Jesus. Yeah, you can say the L, you dumbass. Um, playlist of uh, Stones River. Uh, the last reenactment we did back in December um, on the channel, if you want to check that out. Um, I'm not the best cameraman for cinematic events, but I, I, I think I caught a couple, you know, kind of fun shots of it. Uh, I did my best, at least, so. Um, looking forward to, uh, like I said, I hope we get to the 400 soon. Um, from what the devs have said, there's still some significant client issues, and the server's had some problems. It's done a lot of crashing. There have been problems with uh, switching map types, going from Antietam to South Mountain, for example, and back. So, there's still... A l 
it's it's sta it's more stabilized than it was. But it's it's unfortunately there's still a lot of problems they have to work through. Is Burnside next? Oh, I'm hanging out for Burnside. Who needs sleep? Oh, you were caddy? Oh, were you getting those shots I was looking at? That must have been you. It must have been you doing it. Now, Burnside is one of my absolute favorite maps. But I will say, and, and I'll discuss why, I think it needs to change. Right now, the CSA um, is out of bounds right about, you know, once you get to the edge of this. I think the CSA needs to be able to come all the way up to the bank. And I will explain at some point uh, why that is. All right, let's check leaders again. I'll give it a second here for people to pop in. And by the way, if you've never actually done this, you can actually see all the entire Antina map here. And it is glorious to look at. Like there? That's probably house right there. I'll zoom back down before I get kicked out, but. Um, I saw it for UEC. I have not seen it for pub yet. This is my first pub Burnside since the update, so I am also very curious. Uh, but as they're getting set up, okay, looks like we got 8th Georgia. Uh, catch my decoys. Is that an alternate for Hood? Not Hood, for uh, for Knight? You guys have to let me know. Then we got Hudson from 1st Maryland. We've got Private Brit from the 4th New Jersey. We got a 1st VA Private. Um, Bodius. Then we've got Dawes in again. we got Salem in again. We've got... Oh, Ar Archangel. I, he's usually pretty good from 30th. Oh, so it's not an alternate from Knight. So current Knight's over here. Who is Catch My Decoys? Who is it? Knight, who is Catch My Decoys? Uh, then we got Willie Pete from 30th Ohio on one batter, and then we got uh, some 14th Tennessee folks on the other one. Along with... I don't know him. But... Uh, we shall see. So this is interesting. So the Union is coming in from this angle. Maybe they're making their plans. Maybe that's what they're trying to do. Um, let's see how the CSA is setting up. I like that position right there. Who is this? Uh, yep, Arthur Salem. I'm not surprised. That's a good position. Um, Knight down here. Um, I approve of this position for the Overwatch. Now, now talking about Knight, look at what he's done here. He has put his men here in the shade with decent concealment. The only thing I would say is this flag, but he's, you know, you might not know. Just put him right here so that the Artie doesn't target him. You know, like that. Artillery's got us. So, Velkine, you, you asked about if artillery can still be effective. I think you have your answer. Now, it would have been very effective if it was done during a crossing. Who's on those guns, though, for the Union? Let me go check. Who, who did those shots? Was Caddy, was that you on those shots? All right, so we got DB. Let's see, we got Willie Pete calling it in. It's Mingo. Mingo, was that you shooting that? He's gonna TK. He's gonna do it because it's funny because they're a troll. All right. They do, they do, Daz. They do have people holding on straight fence balls. Like. Kind of shooting a little bit. What up, man? Now, at this point, I might suggest, if you want to do an overwatch, you actually spread out into a, you know, use the cover as much as you can and spread out as much as you can. Once you see the Union crossing, then form up in a mass and shoot them. But I would also say you're better off at independent as they cross. You're actually more likely to get more targets hit. But let's uh, take a look at this charge across here as a kind of cinematic view. I always love watching this. We're going right. We're going right. Bang! Let's go! Oh, 
down, down to the right, down to the right. Let's go, let's go. And y yes, to uh, Hoods, that was what I observed on the UEC. It was very difficult to get him out of the bank. And that, when I was talking about why I think they need to change the map, that is the reason why. Because the CSA is actually out of line if they go back into this bank here. So the Union could just hang out there indefinitely. For the unity of our nation, not for treason, not for betrayal, but for unity. Left, left, charge, left. Hey, hey, George, George, hey, George, what are you doing? Move, hey, oh, Morris, hey, push hey, forward. Hey, Do not hey, hey, up, hey, the hey, up the hill. Get up there, get up there. Get up there. So this is an interesting choice. They kept two flags back. I don't know if I agree with that decision. I wouldn't have sent them up at the charge, but we'll see if this works out. Watch your left. Oh, they're crossing the bridge, by the way. Oh. That ain't good. Got these bastards. boys. Keep moving. Kill them all. Up the hill. That makes sense, sense uh, Kensai. I think you're right. That that is uh, that would make sense. Should already have you down that zone. On the right, on the left tail. You see how much? Now the big problem for CSA on this map is their lack of tickets. Just hold the line. Here they come. Brace, gentlemen. Brace, brace, gentlemen. We got this. I would not have held this position, I don't think, as the CSA. Hey, this shit, baby. We got this. We got this. Hold the line. Hold the line, hold the line boys. I think Hudson's going to push through this without too much difficulty. Hold the line. Well, I, I get that, Kensai, but I would. I would on, why not post the flag right here? Or, even better. Right here. Now I don't have to cross this bridge. I'm already across. All I gotta do is come up and move on out and jump up when I want to. See, now this is a better defense here by the CSA. Has actually strung out the Union a bit. So I think I, I think something I'm, I'm I might say on this meta here if you're just gonna send waves in, okay? Like here comes the next wave. Can I say come across and then run away? Don't stop in the middle of the fucking bridge. Go left point or go right point. So we have a detached company. Fun dude, but depth. You can see the ticket imbalance isn't all that much, to be honest with you. These are not very effective charges. Y'all ain't shit. Well, I, I would I would agree not to send them up in a charge. But again, you could position them right here, and they're just fine. CSA can't reach them. They can't get down there. Bro, that was nice. Bro. Julian, my man. And as we can see on tickets right now, I would say right now, like, for example, we can see what's going on right now with this unit down here. Like, I would, like, uh, like, Fer oh, like, Ferrix got the flag. Nice. Like, I would put the flag with, like, three guys. Again, back here in the river, and just squat down. Hang out. And when it's time to respawn, stand up. And then you get all your respawns in. And then they, you can go on either side, wherever you want to go. But look at the tickets right now. CSA, I mean, yes, I, you know, it's, it's even on tickets, which means CSA is uh, losing. But it's not like the union's running away with it. George B. All right. That's good. All right, boys, form up to the right of that tree there. I mean, left of that tree. My bad. Left of that tree. Line form up, up to the left up. of the right tree there. Right 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 over here, over here, over here. Left yeah, of this line tree, line right line here. Yeah. Three, gentlemen. So now we've got two units engaging this one unit. A lot will depend on which way these reinforcements go. Keep moving, boys. Keep it moving. Good, no, folks in. That's always good to see. 
Alright, so they're going, going, going up, to the right, so this uh, this will throw this off a little bit. But this was pre-spawn change. Oh, okay! Oh, it was! I thought you were saying it was after. No, okay. Yes, pre-spawn change? Yes, this makes perfect sense. 100% agree. 100% agree with you. This is Union ground now. This is Union. Fall back, 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 back on the hill, boys. Back on the hill. Comfy B. Comfy B. Up on the hill. Get back. Get back. So as you can see, this unit's still here, though. They have not been able to push it off. And in fact, this unit's got to have to fall back a little bit. A little bit too disorganized right now. Well, you know, you know, I, I, uh... Yeah, guys, got his ass. I still cannot draw a line. Directly what in front of us. I mean, I'm talking directly west north. I mean, west. right up the hill. Right up the hill. Why are we capping? I mean, it's, oh, it's my like, goodness. he's less than a... Are they capping? Yeah. They're just in the bushes. Get off the point, boys! That is good guidance from whoever gave that. You do not want to be on the coming, point coming, right coming, now. Coming, coming. Yeah, see, the problem now for the CSA is, do they have a flag back here? Like, again, you, if you had a flag back here and cover, and again, you can be over here, and you're pretty much in full cover, you can hang out. Oh, we got another charge going across. Let's see what we got for this one. I mean, Union is ahead, and they're at decent pace, so this strategy is working. It, it's sufficient. Uh, I mean, you know, reps do matter. Reps do matter. Charge through them. Keep I, I, charge through them. This is a little bit uh, self-serving, but I, I would argue watching my stream, or just generally, you know, watching events unfold in general, you know, not necessarily just my stream, but looking at the event holistically and, and okay, where are the casualties at? What's the rate going down? You know, zooming out and watching it versus just playing it gives you a much better feel for whether or not a tactic is effective and whether or not what is a new change. Now, this is a good counter charge go, here. Boys. Who's this? I'm not surprised. State Georgia. I'd watch it, but the music. So, yeah. All the I mean, way up, all the way up. Look at how many men Salem has now been able to get here. Let's see if he can get up. Oh, but the CSA might be able to stuff him. Again, I want to keep the flag here. Pull back, pull back, pull back. Fire, pull back, fire, pull back. Fall back. This is where the CSA might have the opportunity to wipe them before the CSA the union gets their reinforcements across. Uh, again, it's, it's, it's you know, CSA is ahead. I'm sorry, a union is ahead. It's working. That was brutal. You know. I got a cross for Shy. Like but, uh, when you know, you're trying to judge things, you know, try to think deliberately about deliberately. Up, Jesus Christ! Words, motherfucker. English, do you speak it? Right up the middle. Apparently, I don't. Deliberately. See, this charge, I absolutely agree with. You've got superiority numbers, and if you can wipe them out, knock out that flag. But this is a good charge by the Union in response here, up here, this way. I have been hit, I'll be honest, Hood, every live stream I've done, I've been hit with a copyright claim, claim because of soundboard music. There's a reason I don't monetize this shit. Now, it gives me the option to mute it, but then I miss half of what I'm talking about. Now, if it's video game music, okay, that's what you're talking about. Yes. Video game music I've used before, it is fine. Um, but any, yeah, I was talking soundboard stuff. Gets me muted, you know, gets me copyrighted after like 10 seconds. Just, and then I gotta fucking... 
you know, it's a pain in the ass because then I got to take it off and mute it, and that takes the video out for like two hours while it reprocesses, and then I lose. I've noticed I lose a lot of. Um, I forget what the damn word is, but um, basically, uh, YouTube pushing the video. Reform, reform. So yeah, I guess I just got to do a lot of uh, video, you know, video game music. Two flags up there. Two flags up there. This is, I mean, it's 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 working. It's 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 you know, charge after charge after charge. It's it's wearing them down. I like the pace. I'll say that. I like the pace of the attack. Uh, they're going in larger and they're them. going they in um, they're, jump they're going in larger and they're going in more frequently uh, but again I think you get a better char uh, thing down here not to say this can't work clearly again we talked about examples if it works then it's possible and we have an example of it working But let me get back to the action here. You're gonna die, you Yankee bitch! I mean, again, this is not a super close match. Is, is CSA is gonna lose this match, but as far as a morale state, you can see it's not a huge deficit. Oh, I love Ken Burns' uh, music, man. I actually got I got to see him. Um, he presented to um, our class at CGSC the um, his, his 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 series uh, the Vietnam War, and it was really something to see. Uh, we had a, you know a bunch of the teachers were Vietnam veterans, and uh, you know it was great to see him and Lynn Novak. They gave a presentation on it. It was great, and we had. Um, there were two Vietnamese officers at the school at the time. We weren't the first class to have Vietnamese officers, but we were like the third, maybe the second or third, I want to say third. Um, and it was, um, you know, really cool to see, you know, you know, because they watched the video, you know, the whole thing, yeah, the whole auditorium with, you know, officers from all over. And, uh, you know, you had the Vietnamese officers and the American officers, and you had, you know, the Vietnam veterans, and it, it was a very nice, interesting experience. And Lynn Novak actually got uh, a little teary-eyed uh, when when we everybody kind of gave him a standing ovation. Uh, you know, again, this was uh, you know this was God, what was it, twenty? Shit! Ah, ninth. Oh God! Bayonets down. So after I got back from the ranch, that would have been. 2017. Oh, it was great. It was, it was great because they talked about like their process of how they did the interviews and how they and they tried to get a balanced perspective and who they went to and how they framed it. And I thought I thought it was a great piece of how to approach history. And you know, of didn't shy away from the bad stuff, but didn't you know? And, and there's a bit of a you know, I would say a bit of a political angle to it. It was a very um, if there was a political angle to it, it was towards reconciliation, which, you know, you know, not to wax poetically here, but all wars, no, you know, it's not a bad thing to pursue reconciliation. No, uh, yeah, two NVA officers, yeah. They were they were active duty. Actually, was in class with one of them. Um, really smart yeah, dude, he, he very intelligent. Knew all the U.S. military texts. Knew all you know, you know, all the Western European, Germany, Klaus, which knew them all by heart. And he knew all the Eastern shit, too. He knew, you know, Sun Tzu, he knew every, you know, extremely intelligent guy. I was very impressed with him. Now, you know, you, if you're going to send, you know, officers to do it, you're probably going to send your best. So, you know, um, you don't want to you don't want to send, you know, the mediocre guys to those kinds of things. But, um, yeah, it was, a great, it was a great experience being able to be in class with those guys. I remember I took uh, the class I was in with them was the uh, Eastern Way of War. So, you know. 
us having discussions on the Vietnam War and U.S. tactics versus uh, Vietnamese tactics was a very interesting, you know, and it was it was done in a professional manner. You know, there's no acrimony, there's no he said, she said. So, you know, really great experience, and, and I'm, I was very lucky to be part of it. But yeah, now the Ken Burns and Lynn Novak, you know, explaining how they did the interviews, how they did the research, it was extremely eye-opening, and uh, kind of set me on the path um, to get out of the army um, and and pursue history and academics more, because the way that I saw them be able to uh, have that impact, I thought was something I, I uh, really admired and, and hope to, uh, in a small way, emulate in my own shitty way, but. No, so there were American and Vietnam War officers, but they were teachers, so they were senior guys. We didn't have any ex-NVA officers there. No, we didn't have... Unfortunately, that would have been great. That would have been an amazing thing to have them on a panel together. Um, but unfortunately, we did not. Um, I mean, they haven't early capped yet. I think they'll be all right. It's all right. That's so aggravating. It's all right, so be it. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> you you just gotta dodge and weave. Do not let them get that flag, brothers. Get that some bit. It was close. You were absolutely right, Kensai. It was absolutely close. Who we got over here? I think I'll be all right with Jack, this music here. Jack, Jack, right, Jack. Dick. Same position, straight down my line. Aim around the head, Jeez. chest level. Let's see how this volley is. Fire! But if you um, if you ever do want to study military history um, or history in general, um, but military history especially, um, it's always a good thing to take any emotion out of it and and try to you know do it as objectively as possible. And understand why things were done the way it were that they were and you know how the impacts were and to approach it you know clinically and without emotion um because otherwise it just kind of devolves into polemics and devolves into you know chest pounding and is really a fruitless exercise so i think that's enough philosophizing of me so let's let's continue watching the, the match here <laughs> i'm sorry guys i probably have no uh no viewers left <laughs> Oh, yeah, Hood's ghost was yelling at them. I'm sure he was <laughs> hitting him off a point. Better run, Yankee boy. Um, that's an interesting question. I don't know. Um... Well, I mean, I mean, you know, when we say the Vietnamese, you know, it's always important to remember the Arvin were the ally, were our allies too, and there were some great Arvin officers. It, 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 unfortunately, that, you know, and they and they talk about it, and they interview some Arvin officers as well in the in that show. If you watch, if you not watch the Vietnamese uh, miniseries, I highly recommend it. Um, you know, there's a lot of corruption though, unfortunately, that that broke down the Arvin, and, and there were various reasons for it, and they kind of get into it. So. I like foe too, man. But um, yeah, the Vietnamese, you know, were were you know very good soldiers. They lost a lot of people in that war. Some people don't realize how many uh, Vietnamese, both Arvin and NBA, and the you know and Viet Cong, were killed in that war. It was astronomical. Um, you know, we lost. I want to say it was fifty-eight thousand. If I'm wrong. If I'm off on that number, I do apologize, but I believe it's somewhere around there. They're trying to take the point now. We'll see if they do it. I don't think they're massed enough to take it on this one. They'll have to do it on the next one. But you see, okay, so you see how now the flags are? This was what I was talking about, Kensai. In fact, you could put the flag back here. Same thing if they had a flag over here. I don't see one, but, you know, kind of put it back down here. But, um, yeah, I've been pretty lucky. Like, I, you know, when I was in uh, Japan, you know, we did a, um, 
a staff ride for the Battle of Okinawa when I was in Okinawa. And part of that was going to, um, you know, the Japanese uh, historians and their, and their, it was actually a lieutenant colonel, gave a lecture on the uh, defense of Okinawa. On, uh, and, you know, he, you know, usually you see us as the blue team and the other team as the red team. We were the red team and they were the blue team. But it was fascinating, you know, seeing how they approached the defense. And then we went out to the sides and looked at the terrain. Um, it was a really, you know, rewarding experience. That was another damn desperate fucking battle. So that one, obviously, there were no uh, Japanese, uh, you know, well, I mean, I'm, there's, I'm sure there's some left, but uh, for, especially at that time. But uh, there weren't, you know, it was all modern guys, more guys, contemporary. It's funny, though, when we were going through the tunnels, um, one of the Japanese officers, uh, he, was a, he was a first lieutenant, he, he told me, yeah, we always get nervous bringing the Americans down here. The ghosts don't like it. I didn't see no damn ghosts, but I was like, all right, I'm good. I don't need to see the tunnel no more. Jesus. No, thank you for putting that staff that stat out there, uh, Velkine. Yeah, not to say that the American side wasn't a tragedy, but sometimes, you know, we don't realize how many on the other side were killed, unfortunately. So thank you, Velkine, for putting that out there. Fire! Yeah, since I'm on a damn war story-ish bent, as much as these are war stories, it's uh, really not the Iraq fucking stories. Uh, when I was Iraq, I was I was paired with the uh, with the Ninth uh, Armored Division, and they um, the uh, deputy chief, the deputy uh, commander. Um, you know, we were talking one day. You know, I was having dinner with you know the other you know, a bunch of other officers there too. I was a captain at the time, so, you know, doing logistics. Advisements, which really just means getting shit for them. Um, oh yeah, it was it was way more than the well, again you know for their side it's you know it's you know we think of the civil war and it was the most devastating for the U.S. But you know that's only you know that's because we were on both sides of the equation too. Um, I do like this forward line the CSA has. Let's see how uh, Knight does with this volley before I continue. Anyway, at the dinner the. Uh, you know, somehow we were talking about the Gulf War. You know, and he had been a, uh, he was a captain during the Gulf War, and he was a commander of a tank. And he said to us, uh, you know, I always liked fighting the Americans. Um, you guys always gave us time to get out of the tank before you blew it up. Uh, you know, it's kind of, you know, we all laughed, but it was kind of a surreal experience, you know. Like you're aiming at the Hell yeah, you know, he was talking about the war in 1991. You know, the same guy that was in 91 and 90, you know, in 2003 fighting against us. You know, that we were. This was the uh, it was the counter ISIL campaign I was over there with. So that was, um, God, fuck, what was that? 2016? Jesus Christ! All right, all right, 20. They're right down my line, right there, boys. Line ready. But anyway, the enough of, of old man coattail stories. Let's watch an idea do this boys. Level with the bottom of the bushes. Take aim. 20th. Fire! Remember, boys. Now look at how solid that volley was from Knight and his guys. But now consider how fast they will get those respawns in. Check and ready, boys. Well, I mean, I mean, he was, you know, again, he was, you know, he was a deputy commander helping us fight ISIS, and he, he was a smart dude. He was extremely intelligent. Um, you know, new logistics, new admin, new, new, new fucking tactics. He was a fucking brilliant fucking guy. God, I can't remember his name though, which is fucking horrible. I'll have to fucking look it up later. <laughs> again, he's a deputy commander, so he's like a brigadier general, too. So you know. But yeah, so yeah, now they're all back. So again, that goes back to to take us back to the war of rights discussion. You know, can individual unit volleys, um, old man coattail stories. Oh lord, <laughs> that would not sell. Um, but the uh, you see how easy it is for units to reconstitute themselves now, and how that changes things. Like a volley by that from night two or three more times would have tripped that force down there. But now, it doesn't. 
And now what that really means is now those reinforcements have gotten across the bridge, and Rich, look how much they've massed. Yeah, I've heard that. That's interesting, Johnny. Um, that he is uh, still very much praised um, in Russian uh, education. Um, I, I, I haven't really done too much um, Russian history, I'll be honest. That's um, I do a little bit of it uh, when it interacts with China. That my actual area of study is Chinese history, but um, yeah, that's that. That is, um, I've heard that that has been a, uh, I've, you know, that is a thing, and that he's kind of treated as, uh, you know, the great savior. You know, it's a great patriotic war, and uh, so that's that's. I'm thank you for saying that, Johnny. That's interesting. But I am late, tired. Not not to not to put you out there, but uh, um, you know, is, is your wife like twenties, thirties, forties? If you don't, you don't have to answer. Uh, no, not yet. I'm just saying that's kind of get a year picture from when her education was. You know, it was uh, you know, Putin time, or it was uh, Yeltsin, or Gorbachev. She might be like, yeah, yeah, like, oh yeah, what the hell is dumbass guys gonna be how old I am? Oh, oh. oh, they got fucking great. Oh, look at this oh, great volley here from the CSA out. team, though. Nice. Great job. I catch my decoys. Oh, Keep firing out and Mr. Knight. If you see them, if you see them, shoot them. This is it. So, yeah, the tactic worked for the Union, but again, I think it could have been uh, more uh, cleanly done. Let's go. Kill every Yankee you see, boys. Every Yankee. Lay your life down for the South. Fuck it, we ball. Fuck it, we ball. Kill as many Yanks as you can, boys. Push through. Push through. So, Arthur Salem has said in the chat, Friendly. this map is completely ruined with the flag change, to be honest. Push through, boys. Get over here. Womp Womp says, see, stick dope. Oh, fuck. Yeah, we are done early again. Usually I see this gun much closer to the wire. We are at 1330. And this is with the additional change of the 20%. Um, so I don't know. Are they going to go up to 40%? Uh, we'll see. Um, just so you guys are aware when I'm talking about the 20%. They have decreased the uh, drain on tickets by 20% across the board. 32? Okay. So, yep. No, that, that, that tracks. Yep. No, that tracks, Johnny. Thank you for that, by the way. So she would have been coming up just between um, Yeltsin and, and Putin, just as Putin was starting to get in there. So, yep, that tracks. I mean, this map was already... Um, so the 20% change... Yep, so 20% yep, so change, they did that. Basically, and what that did was added um, basically 0.8% to the morale for each team. Yeah, I haven't figured out what the new strat would be for the CSA to win this. I, I don't know. Uh, I'll have to think about it more. It's not immediately obvious to me. Maybe there is one. But... Oh, what, what did he say, Velkine? What did he... Um, I can check later, but just... What did, what did Jeff Knight say in Bivouac? Nice, boys. Last reading Kiwi. Glorious Oz! We've run them from this field! Glorious Oz! Ascend it to Oh, what time is it? Nine, these, these maps are so fast. Womp Womp, I was just talking about your comments in, uh, in, in uh, Spectator. Do a boy cat, poor cat, boy cat, boy cat, motherfucker, boycott. Yeah, I want a boy cat. Yeah, that's what, Jesus Christ. Ah, uh, a boy cat for boy. Cat. I'd said it again, motherfucker. <laughs> boycott for a week. Um. I don't know.
They said they're still in testing, and I want to give the devs as long a leash as possible. You have a girl cat. See, there you go. Maybe they can link up with uh, the boy cat, you know? You know? <laughs> All right, let me get a damn. I gotta get a drink of water here. I'll be right back, guys. I'll do one more stream since these went so fast. Uh, but I'll be right back, guys, as the map's changing. Right, and we're back. Finish off with the cooks? Yeah, we can finish off with the cooks. This will definitely be the last one, but I don't think this one will take that long. You're going on. Uh, let's see who we got leading. Oh, we got Ollie leading. That's nice. Let's see. Then Miss Berry. Hello, him. Billy Pete. And Cornwallis. And we got Sean Walt and Jackson. Yeah, well, we got some pretty senior Union commanders here, so we'll see how they do. By the way, guys, I'll be curious if you've seen... Uh, for the Ken Burns, I'll, I'll call them the War Series. If you guys have seen them, the Civil War... The World War II and the Vietnam War. Which one do you guys think is best? I might be a little bit biased as we're playing to see it's a Union game, but uh, if you've seen them, uh, which one do you guys like the most? Got him! Woo! You know, so interesting that the CSA is going all to the corn here. They're not sending anything on the Union right. That is interesting. Now, I have seen Union lines get melted. This will be the sec second cooks I've seen on pub. Um, now, I've seen units that hang out up here get melted by concentrated CSA fire. Uh, Civil War has the better soundtrack. I concur on the soundtrack. I, I absolutely concur on that. Oh, you didn't like the World War II one. Um, what didn't you like about it? Actually, uh, what, 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 uh, what kind of set you off on it? Well, put you off, I should say, not set you off. What kind of... I will say, I, I think the Vietnam War documentary made is the best one out there. It's a very hard war to cover. It's a very complex and charged war, and I think he did a great job doing it. Was the uh, was the focus was the the you know the the, the uh, town focus thing kind of threw you, threw you off on the documentary, or what, what kind of threw you off on the World War Two one? Out of curiosity, uh, Hood. Good hits. Good hits. Watch your friendlies. Go back up the line if you die. Press up the line, boys. Press up the line. Keep the line looking clean. 
So we got three Union flags here too, by the way, and one off by itself. I'd be curious to see how long this Union line can sustain itself. And then I'm also going to be keeping a track on the uh, attrition rate. Now, one thing on Cooksta, you can see that the Union tickets are so low. I would see, I would say on this map, the in lines can be detrimental. There are a lot of World War II documentaries. This is true. Yeah, the town focus. Um, I know why. I kind of understood why he did it. It was wow, a it was a mechanic to uh, to um, get your head around the whole conflict, but it was a little restricting. Um, in the scope. I, I think that was part of the intent, though, too, because I think he was trying to um, show you more. The, one of the criticisms I have of his Civil War coverage is I don't think he paid enough attention to the um, what was going on on the home front for both sides. He did some. Like, I love the, um, uh, the, in, the inclusion of, um, what was her name? Um, Oliver Wendell Holmes, he was one of the ones from New York. Um, it was some other, you know... Um, guys that he did and uh mary chestnut mary chestnut her her uh, diary i think was a great inclusion they could have made the home front seconds more engaging that i will definitely agree with you world war ii in hd is a very good uh documentary i would agree so you can see that the Union's actually been pushed off of this hill, not by volley, by fire, but by, not by charging, I should say, but by uh, volley fire. And incredibly, the Union is now putting all of its fire against this hay bale here and has given their flank to the CSA. That is, oh Lord. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it was uh, the two diaries, uh, the Company H one by, um, I forget the, the guy's name, and then there was the Rhode Island soldier. Um, I, I, I thought those were great um, inclusions. And one of the nice things about the Civil War, nice things, one of the things that is nice about Civil War history is the, is the, um, the very personal notes of the, um, of the letters and the diaries. It, it makes it a very immediate and, and emotional thing. The uh, it still gets me, which is you know, you know, I'm, I'm a little fuck, you know, I'm, you know, you call me a pussy if you want, I, I, I'm, you know, but uh, you know, the the letter from uh, the soldier that was killed at Bull Run to his, uh, I don't know, if it was his fiance or his wife, always gets me in that first episode of the Ken Burns series. Now I don't know about coming over the hill here. I would wait for the CSA to crest and then hit him. I think the Union might have crested a little bit too soon to deal with this problem, but they still got a decent amount of kills in it. But they are losing a little bit too much uh, tickets. Yeah, the personal accounts um, do great. Um, I've been going through, actually, Lee's uh, letters to his wife recently and Sherman's letters to his wife on a history project I'm working for. The Eventually, I'm going to try to make a sister channel to this for actual history. Um, I actually have it up right now, but I haven't done shit with it. Um, and that was one of the things I was going to do, was kind of go through the letters and how, you know, the leaders were, you know, portraying in real time what was going on. Yeah, you can see how much the Union, I think, did the right thing, but I think they should have tried to stay maybe down a little bit more. Like down here and let them crest, because they you see where they died. They died up here. They were, I, I would have let the CSA expose themselves a little bit more. Oh, absolutely, the music fucking. Which goes back to your point about the soundtrack. Uh, let's see here. Who is moving to the left here? Jackson. I agree with this. He might be able to catch who is redeploying. Willie Pete is redeploying back this side. I would maybe try to oppose him here. Now, last time I, in the pubs that I saw this match, all the Union retreated back to the uh, the graveyard, and then CSA capped and forced them to come out and just shot them to pieces. Hold 
That was the last time. I'd be curious to see if that happens again this time. Um, right now, the Union is in big trouble, though. We're at 36 minutes, and they're almost engaged. Not unheard of for a Cooks, but not ideal, and this will probably be another quick match. Roger. 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 I'm not sure about charging in here. Ali, I, I, I love you, brother, but I I love you, brother. I don't know about this. I mean, although the question is, what do you do now? As Union, what do you do? If you let this fester, you know, you're in trouble. I do like Miss Berry doing this... Uh, Swing around this side here, but you can see that charge completely stopped. We'll see if Miss Berry here can carry the attack through, but I don't think they can. We'll see if they can do it. But yeah, the diaries are very interesting. Like I, when I was reading some, I'm like going through the 1861 right now. Lee was not. He was pissed the fuck off. Up and over, up and over. What was the final quote by Shelby Foote? Remind me. I'm, I'm, I'm drawing a blank. I'm sure it was great. He is, he is a, you know, some people shit on him as a historian. He's not a historian. He's a novelist. Uh, but he is, he is very good at, you know, getting the emotion of events. I hear you, Mr. Caddy. Is Caddy leading? Caddy's leading. Hell yeah, Caddy. Or maybe he took the officer slot. I don't know. Now, I'll be honest with you. I, I don't like where Ollie... I'm sorry, Ollie, man. I'm, I'm disagreeing with a lot of your decisions right now. Who knows, but again, the old flags, ragged and torn, snapping in the wind. They face each other and flutter. Pursuing and pursued, while the cries of victory fill the summer day and after the battle. Yeah, that is, that, that poetry, that shit is fucking, his prose is fucking wonderful. Then the slain and wounded will arise, and all will meet together under the two flags, all sound and well, and there will be talking and laughter and cheers, and all will say... Did it not seem real? Was it not as in the old days? Yeah, that, that, is, that, that, that gets a good one. And it goes back to that reconciliation thing. Um, although there's problems with that in the Civil War. I mean, that's a whole other subject. Um, right now, I disagree with Wampum here. The reason I disagree with Wampum staying here is look at how many men he's facing. Now, at this point in the battle, honestly, I would consider swinging up, Who said that? knocking out this unit here, and trying to get and cut off the CSA from their main and fight them from the reverse side of this hill. And they come up, fall back. And they just keep rinsing and repeating and try to drag out the match without losing casualties. I would just run and I would do skirmishy things. I didn't say it was you, Wob Wob. I said I disagreed with what Ollie was doing. But yeah, I, I would not get stuck back in this corner. I would try as best as I could to just stay mobile and string out the CSA and prevent myself from losing casualties and just string them out. And then if I can, swallow up an isolated unit. The graveyard strat, I think, is a trap now. And he always was a trap, but I think it's even more of a trap now. Fixed 
Did I say the same thing when Barry was leading? Wait a second. No, I wasn't. I wasn't streaming yesterday. You must be Tuesday. Yeah, actually, they did the graveyard last time as well. Um, oh, we got another Devin. It's uh, it's Mullick. Mullick. Mullicks. Now, I, I, I think for the strat for the Union uh, at this point, and I, I would even say to begin with, is 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 mobility. Do not allow the CSA to squeeze you. Move around constantly and string them out as best you can while you stay as compact as possible. Like, poor Willie Pete is getting shot in the side right now here. Why is Hot Dog Sim so cool? Like, this is a horrible place for the Union to be in right now. Shift yeah, you you never want to get into an engagement with the CSA at close range like this. This for this map, I would say you you never want to do that. I, I I'm convinced the only way to win this map is time and to force and to get the CSA to make a mistake. Preserve your tickets, preserve your mobility. Get the CSA to spread out and do something dumb and get frustrated. Yeah, like coming back here and volleying. It's it's fine. The problem with this strategy is the CSA is between you and the point, and you're stuck back here. Any way you move, you're gonna get ambushed. Well, when we say they're stuck and spawn, you know, you could come out and spawn. Do they hang out here? Okay. Rotate out here. When ready. And push all the way out here. I died from the countdown, dude. I was at one second and I just... Check around just swing in. Ready. Swing back next. out. And if they give you this side over here, shoot out as far as you can and get the hard cover, you know, the defilade between you and them. You know, you got a decent defilade here. You got a very good defilade here, and if they start charging to you, shoot them, and fucking book it. It's not a great strategy, but I think that's the way you win. Kill time. Mobility. Kill your time. Just wait here, guys. Just wait here. <laughs> now, if they cap, that's fine. Concentrate all your forces. Hopefully, you've spread them out. Hit it, recap, and get the fuck out of dodge again. Sustained engagements are the tickets are so low. Well, as you can see, like right now, the CSA has massed a lot of firepower over here. Now, what can the Union do? Like getting out here and shooting? I, I would I would say no. How far back can the Union get? Wait a second here. You know, I can get all the way back here. That's not an easy shot. Rotate back under here. How much is out here right now? One unit. Let's spread the fuck out. Okay, you got another unit over there that might be able to support. So you can mass, great. And if they come back and swing over, swing back around. Waste time. Kill time. If they're not going to cap, great. Now, when I again, the key though is you want to spread them out and punch through. You don't want to just turtle, in my opinion, because again, what you know, like I, I agree with Hood, then they just cap. You want to make them not even think about it. They want you want them to think, oh, I can still get them. You want to just tantalize them just enough that they don't kind of think about, okay, wait a second, I want to cap. You want to stay what's called inside their decision cycle. You want to drive their decision cycle. If you can get the enemy to react to what you're doing versus having him having you know having him force you to react to what he's doing you are controlling the pace and you're controlling the battlefield that's what you want to do you want to get inside their decision cycle and drive it again look okay you know they moved over here to this fence like you can get out here 
You can get on the snake fence. You can do it. You can shoot out here. You can punch through, you know, if you wanted to, this little gap right here, and shoot up. And out. I'm not doing a lot of the action right now, so I'll, I'll try to come a little bit here. But honestly, you're not going to shoot anybody out. Everybody's just going to sit here in a trick. Ooda loop is not a bad thing. Stay mobile. And then when they make a mistake, be ready to hit them. If a unit gets tired and says, like, oh, well, fuck it, okay. You know, let's try to find them, you know, or let's attack them. Great. Punch them. Punch him in the face and then get back out. Don't stay around, though. John Boyd, but the OODA loop is not the worst visualization. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know. You know, we were talking about Vietnam earlier. Um, a big part of their strategy up ahead of the Tet Offensive was to attack along multiple points of the line and and, and try to confuse the uh, the uh, American and the Arvin forces as to where the attack was. And really what they were doing was they were setting the conditions so that they got used to that higher level of attacks so that when they switched to a concentrated attack and were able to infiltrate through, they weren't able to react fast enough because their minds had, you know, your perception had changed. They're like, oh, well, this is just, maybe it's just a little bit higher now. And they were able actually to penetrate pretty deeply, and it took a lot of effort to uh, you know stop them. Um, it, it was an American victory, and it was a failure. It was actually viewed as a pretty bad failure at the time by the NBA. Um, but you know, it's just an example of how you shape the perceptions of an opposing force and get them to uh, react to you. Easy to think of tactics from here, though. You're right. It is far easier here, but. Conditioning and response, yes. It is easier here, but if you use, again, I'm, I'm going to, you know, uh, try to, uh, you know, sell this channel right now. This is the time to think through those things. This is the time to, okay, see the battlefield. I have the time now. So next time, if I'm like, okay, what's the situation here? Yeah, they're about to cap now, and they're going to force the Union out to charge them, and the Union is stuck in a hole right now. And the CSA is in an excellent position to stop them. But this is the time to learn. This is the time to think through those problems. So the next time when you're facing them, you know, you, you, you've already thought through that. And you're like, well, can I apply this? Can I apply that? Can I apply some shit Kotal hasn't even mentioned or thought of? But I saw because I was watching overhead and saw how the battlefield flowed. So that's, that's my hope for this channel is that it gives you guys and really all the players, you know, an opportunity to think through things and kind of, you know, improve the play. Well, it won the, uh, the morale victory. It won the uh, political victory. It was a political success. Now we talk about, um, and actually the, uh, the, the um, uh, Lynn Novak, Ken Burns does a great job describing this. The problem was that the, um, oh my God, S, what was his name? Um, Hawk, the general, Oh, what was his name? Oh, brain fart. The U.S. commander of the uh, the forces in, um, in in Vietnam. I can't remember his name, but he had been saying that the Vietnamese were on their heels, that the U.S. was so close to victory, it would just take a little bit longer. And then there was a shock of, wait a second, how is it that they're on their heels and they can't be winning, and we, we're so close to victory, but then they can launch this major offensive? Nobody cared that it failed. It was that it had created this cognitive dissonance. Westmoreland. Jesus Christ, thank you. Jesus yeah, Christ. I think he's funny as shit. Oh, no. I don't know, I'll find him and kill him. And because they were able to, you know, counter that expectation, it had this up? major morale effect. See, right now the Union, this force hey, out here, right. again, is just... Now, now, okay, now you get a move. Again, Ollie, I disagree with you here. You've you stayed it. back here. It's going to take you a really long time now to mass up back here again. Keep shooting, gentlemen. Now, if we want to get into, I think the CSA, 
So, I've been accused of CSA bias. I think the CSA is right right now. I think they're set up perfectly. The only thing I would do is drag these units back to the center. Um, the Union should not be shooting this out. The Union should be trying to destroy in detail each of these units. Roll this one. Roll this one. And just carry the attack forward. And then shoot these guys as they come up. I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad you said that, Hood. That gives me gives me faith. Or hope, I guess, that I'm accomplishing my, uh, my goal for the channel. And I hope you guys enjoy it, just generally watching and seeing everybody play. And I hope it's fun for that as well. Press V. Press V. Up and over the fence, boys! Don't hang around on the fence! So that guy's right. You do not want to sit here and hang up the fence. There's no point in shooting here. Get up here and shoot him. Now this move here, who is this? This guy, Blake be killing YouTube. I think I really like his position. Look at where he's positioned himself. He is below the defilade, and he is going to shoot them as they come up. A great positioning here. Who is this over here? This guy right here again. Great. They've now got him in a kill box. Here they come. Here they come. You need to charge out of it. But now they charged a probably poor position here. What are you doing? See, you had wiped out this unit. I didn't see if they shot him out or not. This is interesting, but why not come up this way and hit him? You're charging into the kill box. Reverse slope defense. This is a lot more live streaming than I usually do. I, I'm not going to lie. Um, when people accuse me of you haven't seen, live streamed enough, I was like, okay, I'll, I'll make a point to do more of it, and I'll see. I, I haven't really moved off of my other positions, though, to be honest with you. Get him, Caddy! Get him! Oh. But see, right now, you could have a base of fire and then maneuver and swing up here, either shoot him or get behind him. Um, they're moving too slow, in my opinion, Hood. They could, but I think they're moving too slow. <laughs> Like, I think Cornwallis has a good base of fire here. And see, I like this movement here by Willie Pete. I just think this needed to be a little bit sooner. I think they took a little bit too long. Because now these units have been freed up. And, well, they're still singing out, so maybe they can still do it. But if he can, if, if I, in fact, I would even push up a little bit more if I was Cornwallis. And really try to drag their attention to let Willie Pete maneuver. But Willie Pete, he stopped a little bit too short here on this rock. And now he's stacked up. And now that's given time for the other side here. Now they're going to maneuver. And these guys down here, I don't know what you're doing hanging out over here. This is this is not helping at all. I think they're on their left. Yeah, just getting... Yeah, so again, I, I don't oppose what, what Cornwallis is doing, but it has to be in conjunction with something more. Willie Pete, again, I, I think needs to maneuver. And, you know, these guys over here, I would say, are... Well, who's getting it? We Miss Barry, I think, is doing the right thing. Get moving. Do it. Ollie! Oh, I disagree with Ollie. If he carries forward an attack, no. If he stays on this fence, I will disagree with him. But if he carries an attack forward, which is what he's doing, great. Now, here's a problem. Again, I'm sorry, Ollie. You got your men jumping over the fence. Two feet to your right. They could just walk through. Why are you having guys vault when they could just go through? You're right. I, I hope you're right. One of those lines could have forced them off, but I don't think it's the case anymore. I think now the CSA is able to hold it. So that's another change in the tactics. So I agree. That is a display of a tactic that I think would have been valid previously, but now you need to do more forcefully and with more... Uh, um, Bigger? I'll go with bigger. So they've taken the point here, but the problem is the CSA has their flag still, and they've not been knocked out, and they're going to be able to reconstitute. And so they'll let them take, maybe they'll let them take the point back, or maybe they'll countercharge. But they haven't eliminated these forces, which I think they need to do. I mean, retaking point is fine, but, you know. Look at this. You've got this unit here in a great position. Who is this? Jackson is in a great position to outflank the Union. Um, weird that CSA retreated. Maybe, but look at what they've done. 
look at how much they're shooting now into the Union. Um, you know, how many tickets do they get back? Do you get uh, two morale states back or just one? I believe it's just one, so maybe it is a big, big problem. Yeah, I mean, this charge by Jackson was a waste of time, I'll be honest with you. So, now that they've both gone to breaking taking losses, it's just an academic question now. Um, they get it all? All of it? Well, then in that case, then then no, they should not have retreated. If that's the case, and I think you're right, it is. Then no, that was that was not the right move. Jackson, I don't know why he charged in. I don't know why he just didn't shoot him out and waited for the next opportunity. Is that the case? I thought it wasn't, but if you say it is, I'll, you you know better than I would. I mean, right now it looks like you're right. Now we're still at taking losses, taking losses at 23, which is definitely in the CSA favor. But um, you know, now if I would say as the Union, get mobile again. Mass up, you know, and, and you know maybe swing around, swing around, swing around. You know, if you got a small element that's going to leave itself out here, charge him out as a mass. Hit them hard, knock out their flag, and get out of dodge. Wait for another unit to expose itself, hit it, and get out of dodge. You know, I don't know enough about it, but um, kind of like Jackson's campaign for the um, Shenandoah, from what I understand, you know, to stay mobile, even though there's more of them, spread them out, get them all strung out, hit them, move on, get out. That's probably a very bad summary of Jackson's Valley campaign, but I'm not a Civil War historian. <laughs> That's what Bradley's for. We'll get Bradley to do about it. And see, now that we took all this time, you know, okay, let's move out nice and slow. Now we're all spread out. CSA is having time to react. Um, now, as far as the CSA... I would say they are doing what I think they need to do, kind of keep it deliberate, get them into gunfights, and to trim them down, and get them into a position where it's easy for us to cap. So I think overall the CSA is doing what they do. Um, I agree with you. I, th I yeah. No, I absolutely agree with you. It's better to die on point. Fall back, fall back, fall back, I'm a gentlewoman. <laughs> For the reasons that you just said. Good. Where, where, where? Oh, I need more water. So the thing about ground, Caddy, is ground is what you, how you use it. Um, take advantage, you're absolutely right. And that, I think, might even outdo it. But, so, for example, a reverse slope works both ways. It's all about how you use it. Okay. Cover for them is cover for you. Concealment for them is concealment for you. It's all about how you maximize its, you know, its value for you. And how you minimize it for them. And how you drag them into positions that are unfavorable to them and favorable to you. Now, the problem is... Stay on the damn debate because it's 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 relevant to this conversation. I know I know I keep talking about it, but it's relevant. So I'm sorry. You used to have a lot less of a um, I'll call it a slitch. You have you didn't need as much in order to have that effect. So you could do the terrain plus a little bit, and you could do it. You're now much closer to needing closer to what you would call the 3-1 advantage, like I talked about earlier. The 3-1 attack or advantage to do. And that is much harder to do. Not impossible, but much harder to do. So, like, individual actions by units like this right now, out here getting shot at uh, by Cornwallis, he's getting them out of there. That's the right choice. There's no point in staying and taking any casualties here for any length of time. So if you take a shot from out here, there's no point staying. But, you know, look at how Jackson's got his, his unit right here. Like, look right here. Like, you could pop up, shoot, and get back down. But you could do the reverse as well. Right here, same reverse. Stay here, wait for them to come over, or pop up, shoot, get back down. Same terrain. 
You know, but if you choose to bottle yourself back up here, all they're going to do is recap. What is this? Now, if you're going to mass here and maybe make a strike on this unit, maybe. But uh, I'd say that's a little bit too thick here right now uh, to do so. They have to thin this out a little bit more. So, again, but right now, what's open over here? I could come out here, you know, kind of hug this terrain down here. You know, at some point they're going to shoot at me, but there's a lot of dips over here. And just keep coming forward and try to hit this unit. They're isolated right now. There is nobody that can mutually support them. Yeah, two to one can do it. Um, but I think uh, it's two to one with some other advantage, like a bucket ball or um, really a good unit um, or something. There's got to be something else in that two to one. You know, or, or a specific terrain thing, or arty, but something else to improve the combat power. Like this unit out here right now. Oh, I would fucking eat this unit up here. With this force here, eat this unit up, man. Hit him. Hit him hard. Knock out that flag. This unit I wouldn't because it's too much in the open. But you could even keep a base of fire here. With a couple guys and distract them with like a, uh, you know, maybe a one-man unit. And and there you go. Like these guys out here, they're not in a fight. Great. Great. Fine. One unit to fix this unit, other three to hit this and take it. And open up this side of the field. You know, and maybe, you know, spread them out. Get them all discombobulated. But it takes speed. You know, you can't just sit around here because now the battlefield has changed. Now these guys are moving over in a better supporting position. So that window closes. You know, I can sit back here and volley. That's fine. But again, they've capped. Hey, Connor, good seeing you play, man. Hope you had fun. So now what's the Union going to do? They're going to have to attack. The CSA can defend wherever they want. Window is closed. Now imagine if you have to hold point, but I lost a flag back here. And a unit's all the way to wipe. Imagine if I knocked off two units before as they were capping. How does that change the equation? Can I knock out these other two units as I'm doing it? You can regenerate your combat power much faster now. So if I charge and I win... And I got my flag back. Think about how fast you get your combat power back now. How quickly you can get it back. And how quickly you can cascade to the next unit. And the next unit. And the next unit. You can build momentum. And you can quickly wipe them. Retake the point. And they're all back here. Coming back. Maybe they're barreling, charging back at you. Wait a second. I got flags and they don't. I can outshoot them. I can hold this ground. And now I can start getting an advantage back. I, thought he died to fall damage for I could just be talking out my ass, though. You know, I watch. I don't play. So, you know. These things are easier said than done. You know, it's very easy for me to sit here. See, look at this. Who's, who's this? Cornwallis. I, 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 would, I would maybe make it a little bit deeper. But, you know, this avenue is open. But right now, not against this. Wait for you. I don't, you know, it's easier, and they're incentivized to do so. It is very easy, and the game can be played that way, and they can be rewarded for playing that way. So, this I disagree with. Look at how the Union attacked. They've completely given their flank to the rest of the CSA unit here. So the CSA kind of stuck a unit out here, and they're going to get hit hard. But, you know, now you've given this unit that's come up that's hitting them here. And look at where this CSA unit is. A very good job here by this guy. And they're going to be able to cut him down here. Now, who is this? Willie Pete is going to try to maneuver. And I actually like this maneuver by Willie Pete. If he can get around the side of this CSA unit here. 
and hit them before they can maneuver. That's not a bad move, but the problem is you can't stay here. Look what you don't have with you. Look what you left. Okay, you got it. You're bringing it back. Have I seen the defenders win since the update? Yes. In pubs, I'd have to ba go back and check, but it's not coming to a. Uh, it's not coming to me. So many people are Yeah, I, I, I don't. I'd have to look, but none are coming to my mind. I have seen. I want to say I saw the defenders win in UEC, but I'm gonna have to check back now. Now that you say that. You know, so, you know, when we talk about am I crazy, you know, we're willing to do these kind of maneuvers when we're at last, you know, when we're, we're forced to by the mechanics. Why not do them sooner? Why wait? Hey, you're gay. Stop that. You're gay. Well, that man is happy. And now why are you stopping and shooting when the enemy has three flags here to respawn? You will never be as strong as you are as you are right now, and they are just going to stay at this level. You are not going to outshoot a three flag. You're just not. That's just silly. I I, I think the biased maps are more biased from what I have seen. I, I think that is a uh, fair statement. I'm trying to think of a map that wasn't already biased that has not been made more biased. I don't think I, I'm I'm drawing a blank on it. If you guys can think of one, let me know. But um, I think that is the case. Yeah, and we haven't seen it on on, on Conquest or Contention yet, which I very much want to see it on Conquest and Contention. All right, so now the Union's all going to mass up and charge this line. They might be able to do it. We'll see. We'll see if the Union can get past this wall here. It's cost a lot to do it. Um, is the Union winning more on South Mountain? Um, are they? Are they? I think they lost Garlands when I watched them. I think they lost. I know they lost. Um, they won on Colquitts. They won on Colquitts. I know that. Um, what else have I watched? They lost on Reno's that I watched. Again, these are just individuals. So there might be other maps where they might have won on those. I'm just trying to think of the ones that I've watched. Apparently, Harper's Ferry was very buggy, from what I understood. Um, so it was up for a little bit, but then went down. So the Union did win that charge. So a good job by the Union to win that charge. But, um... It's not going to save them, I don't think. Now, the nice thing about this now, though, why is there a Union flag in the dirt? Someone get the flag. Someone get the flag. Why is there a Union flag in the dirt? Whoever said, pick it up, unless you're the drummer. There you go. Now, as the Union, we'll see how fast they get their reinforcements in. A lot did seem to spawn main, which I think was a mistake. Maybe they'll get there in time, though. Was here. So I've been stabbed. But the CSA, the key right now is you've let the CSA get two flags back. Although they've they've gotten... So the problem is you let the CSA get two flags back. If you had killed it over here, you might have had a better option. But now that they've been able to get back to the reinforcements, this team will be able to push you off here without too much difficulty. And that'll end the match. You know, I've, I've heard people make the argument that there's no strategy in this game and it's all just, there's one way to, of two things to do it. It is just a matter of how efficient you guys are, you know, you're at it doing it. Um, what do you guys think of that argument? Now, the reason I ask is because this actually mirrors another discussion I've heard in general military affairs. So I'm curious what you guys think of it. it it's not a matter of strategy. In fact, that is just kind of, you know, Waste of time flourishes. What really matters is how efficient you are at executing um, your baseline down TTPs, down down your down tactics, down. your techniques, and procedures. And if you're really good at your tactics and tactics and procedures, 
regardless of how, whatever strategy is, you'll overcome it. I'd be curious what you guys think of that argument. Basically, not what you do, but how well you do it determines the outcome. By the way, the devs just lied, unless it comes out in the next week. That's crazy. Oh, they're shooting at me. Why are they shooting at me? Now for the CSA right now. Ah, uh, that, that's a complaint, Johnny, about the, uh, the, 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 you know, some people have said that. Yep, so... Yeah, I definitely agree with Velkine on on uh, on Harbors Ferry. I mean, the hardest thing is determining what is the right thing, is, is, is I would say, in that thing. Because when we say we're doing the right thing, you know, you always have to wonder, is the right thing still valid or has the, uh, has the situation changed? Um, you know, for example, um, up to, I want to say, 1936, and in fact, I might be wrong on that date, it might be even later, um, part of the uh, curriculum for the uh, Command and General Staff College at Leavenworth was equestrian. Equestrian? Horses. How well you can ride a damn horse. I want to say it's equestri uh, equestrian. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong on that term, but that's, you know, basically horse riding. 1936, to be a major in the United States Army, really to be a field officer, one of your requirements was to know how to ride a horse up to 1936. What is the right thing? That can be a question. Um... Now it's. I think you're right. It's it's a, it's always a mixture, and that's usually the default good answer on it. You know, it's a mixture of the two, and that's probably the right answer. Um, no, uh, yeah, Americans do like. Well, yeah, it's, you know, kind of throw kind of throw things at the problem until it's solved. Is is kind of the way I've always seen American military history. Uh, which is a good thing. You don't get discouraged. Um, Unfortunately, the public does, which is the kind of Achilles heel of, Achilles heel of uh, U.S. military strategy. But, if you're doing the wrong thing all in unison, sometimes it could be the right thing. Yeah, sometimes the weight can carry you through. That is especially true in logistics. Um, but um, I, I think the greatest thing, and you know, when I've heard this argument, and, and to steel man it a bit, um, one of the keys is surprise. One of the things you want to do to change in a military equation is surprise. And by having highly efficient units, you increase speed. And by increasing speed and tempo, really, it's speed and tempo is really what we're talking about, you increase surprise because the enemy can't keep up with what you're doing. The other way you do surprise is through what Klaus, which will say, is stratagems. Ways to fool the enemy, to get inside his head, and to get him to do things outside of what he wants to do. Either one can be valid. I, hopefully, you're doing both. Um, and I and it's still true, I think, in War of Rights. Although I think the way you do it has changed. Um, your ability for small units to be effective has changed. Um, but anyway, a pretty standard end to a, a Cooks. So not much really to say there. Good job on the CSA. Speed is the king of battle. Many people say that, and I think that is there is a lot. Uh, Speed and tempo. There's a lot to say for that. Um, so, but anyway, that's that's it for me. I really do need to get to bed now. I gotta get up early tomorrow. Ah, you you did the right thing there, Caddy. Um, I, I was very talky on this stream. I don't know. Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys thought about it uh, when I close the video out. If I was too talky in the stream, I kind of got away from talking purely about uh, the map and talking more about other stuff. 
uh, let me know if that's something that you guys don't mind doing or if you wouldn't want me to stick more to. Um, oh, thank you guys for the guys saying it's good. Let me know what you guys think, though, later, too. Um, if conversations are okay if you want me to stick more towards, hey, stick to, we're here for the war rights. Talk about the war rights. So. Anyway, um, that's all I got. Um, I will be streaming um, UEC tomorrow. Not streaming. I'll be recording UEC uh, tomorrow, so I'll get that out, and I'll probably record TSA. Um, maybe I'll stream it. I don't know. Let me know if you guys will, you know, want me to stream TSA instead of recording it. Um, I'll probably have to ask Knight what he wants. Oh yeah, yeah, the free, the free, uh, you know, usually, usually you charge. Uh, God, what is it? Uh, I want to say it's. Uh, oh, how much is it? Seven hundred dollars, seven fifty for a credit hour, and you're getting this shit for free. So, <laughs> see you on Saturday, Velcad. All right, y'all take it easy. <laughs>